Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream here and our exciting uh, season finale for North America now and for all of VRML. Uh, we're coming in hot off of those amazing, incredible matches. I, I don't just say that because I, uh, because it's my job to hype it. Uh, the match did that for itself. It was that nine round series between the finals, grand finals there. I washed up and Team Gravity, absolutely epic and ending in the uh, victory for Team Gravity. Now, moving on, redirecting towards this North American series of matchups. We have the third place game about to start real soon. And uh, 30 minutes from now, it's Kangorillas uh, versus Infinite. Two names you might not have expected going into that you'd see uh, in that lower bracket fighting for their lives, but here they are. And that's going to be one hype match for sure as well. Uh, but on this pre-show panel, I'm Palador, joined by Sir Dimwi. Uh, to my side, I got Sputnik Cobra. Also to the side, somewhere, actually I don't have it pulled up, but yes, indeed, he's below me still. Or, yeah, exactly. Uh, and over to that corner this time, well, it's Caption and Wit at the bottom, just ever looming dark in his presence. But uh, yes, so how are you guys doing, uh, Dimwi? What's up and what do you feel like about this match that's about to unfold and, and Kangos? I'm doing really good, and uh, I am. Uh, I'm still, uh, still, still getting over the uh, the European European finals. There, those were uh, yep. those were a little ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, this one here. I mean, we got Kangos versus Infinite to kick us off here. Uh, they have met three. They met three times during the season. Kangos taken uh, all three of those games, but uh, that, we kind of had a similar situation with uh, Joker versus Infinite. Uh, when Infinite uh, uh, versus Joker, they were four and zero. Uh, Joker mm -hmm. was over Infinite, and then uh, Infinite came and beat them in two uh, in that first round. So yeah, I'm uh, I I, uh, I don't know what to expect of this one. Uh, the why uh, the one thing I do expect is amazing Echo Arena play, absolutely hands down. Yeah, uh, with without a doubt, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be epic. I'm I'm still reeling from that last match as well, but that's the that's the best thing about this is that we've got some more on the way that uh, no doubt are going to just offer even more exciting moments as we uh, do end up crowning a champion in North America by the end of today. Uh, so Sputnik, uh, how are you doing? And what are your, again, your opinions here on uh, Kangorillas? And what are you looking forward to? Well, coming away from the previous matchup, the European finals, an extremely exciting final, a bracket breaker. So going into this, I have no expectations. I'm hoping that everything is just as exciting as what we witnessed in Europe. And, uh, oh, Caption, over to you as well. I can only assume you caught some of that, right? Uh, that uh, that match from earlier, just insane. Yeah, and I, I more or less came in on that back end when uh, I, I didn't get to watch, unfortunately, the uh, Phantoms game, but definitely the last half of that uh, uh, washed up uh, versus Gravity game, a really great game. And I'm sure we're going to see uh, two fantastic matches coming up here for NA as well. I mean... Uh, team Kango and Infinite, definitely a team that has history even dating back to preseason, if not even further. So uh, definitely going to be exciting to see what they're going to be coming out with. Of course, Infinite generally a faster team and Kango is more surrounded about their passing and their defense. But Infinite's defense has been really, really good against the past the last couple of games. So I'm really interested to see what this uh, matchup is going to bring. Oh, for sure. And now Wit, you're just kidding. Uh, I mean, you can if you want, but um, but yeah, well, it's it's a lot to look forward to for the Kangorillas. Come in again, you, you see they finish there on the screen. Number two uh, in the regular season. And that was for good reason. The ridiculous uh, comeback season of sorts. And every time I say that on stream, again, it's in the context of, yeah, preseason they finished uh, fifth. At, in the context of a champion team returning, I guess a disappointment. But they never, they never lost it in the sense that they're still a top team back then. They're even more on top of it now. They've had a ridiculous uh, turnaround to cement themselves as just one of the, the best of the best still yet. No, they absolutely are. And uh, notable that that fifth place finish in preseason, that was uh, they were in fourth until the last uh, day or two. Their orbit kind of snuck up and took them, uh, yeah. took it from them, uh, not even having to play them for it. These their, their MMR beat out Kang uh, after their final game. So orbit took that spot. So, you know, Kang, uh, yeah, they, they had a little trouble on that preseason. But man, have they come together to be one of the strongest teams in the league? Uh, they, they got actually they got really close to first. Uh, the end of the pre, uh, the end of the season one here, the end of this season, uh, they, they they were looking to challenge. Really, they as far as I understand it, I was talking to uh, Shrem about this after the, after I heard about it from Seal. Uh, mm -hmm. 
they were they were looking for any challenge match to try to find any little bit of MMR that they could get right at the end there. And one of those options on the table was against Phantoms. Uh, and apparently Phantoms was open to it, but unfortunately by the time Kangos got around to to getting to Phantoms, uh, Phantoms was already in bed uh, yeah. due to that uh, time difference. So uh, we didn't get to see it. Uh, but yeah, Kang uh, got, got uh, closer than uh, some of us might think uh, to getting to that first place spot. And uh, yeah, we almost even saw uh, saw that that crossover region match, Kangos versus Phantoms, as a result of it. I want to say too that might not be off the table for some time between seasons. I've heard it discussed. Uh, there's a desire there, so I, I no guarantees, but for some sort of a show match exhibition sometime in the coming weeks or uh, what have you, maybe maybe something we, we maybe. will see. I don't know. It would be uh, super entertaining though for sure, and. Uh, Quick shout out as well, just to make sure I cover my bases here uh, for everyone joining us. Thank you for doing so. I know we got Oculus venues all going up. Uh, we got Facebook Live. We got Twitch. We got a lot of options to watch. Uh, this is this is the the place. This is the place. This is the time for the best Echo Arena gameplay. So I appreciate you guys for joining us. And what will be the matches starting up in another uh, 25, 24 minutes from now is the scheduled start time. So for those joining in this pre-show, we appreciate you as we do continue on. Uh, so Sputnik, any particular members of this Kangos roster that uh, you want to give a little focus to or just talk about some? You know how I love my defense. So going yep. into this, I'm always excited to see what Mad's going to do. But, you know, these past few days, we saw Kangorillas perform yesterday, and everyone was on defense in terms of being able to apply pressure. So they, they have their defense up and down the court. Every which way, they find the man, they apply man-on-man -man pressure, they apply zone pressure, but they have such good sense, and the defense is going to be all over the court, and it's going to be exciting to see what Mad does in the bubble. Uh, always good things, needless to say. A caption, what about you? Any standouts here for Kangos you want to talk about, or...? I mean, when you talk about absolute pure offense and just pure scoring ability, the only... One of the big players that come to my mind, historically, even, like, VRL Season 1 to now, Sealable Bag has been the one man, the moment he reaches that bubble, the moment he gets within five meters of that goal, you have to pray if you're a goalie to save those shots because he is just one of the most creative strikers I think I've seen in this game at all times, and he just finds every possible way to score. Well, the scary part, however, is just the fact that not only very true, but the way that Kangaroos scores, they don't they don't even need to throw in those moves. They have them, but because they're so pass-heavy, like we always mention, and because they're so uh, heavy-handed on the crosses where they just go for the extra, extra, extra pass, that by the time the, the receiver gets the disc, half the time for the Kangarillas, more than half the time, they're already in front of the goal. So they don't, e they don't even need those extra moves per se. But the fact that they are individually talented strikers, it makes them all the more threatening when they approach the goal. Because you have to watch out, yeah, for the individual. You have to watch out for the... And that's just a, a double dose or a quadruple dose, I suppose, of threats anytime they go into the bubble so yeah absolutely true on that note now of course uh just i mentioned this yesterday but just go over it again real quick the fact that you know with uh, with this team they they're long established the original uh kangorillas back there in 2017 uh when the game was still 3v3 it was still the early days everyone was learning to play with uh with each other around each other figuring out the meta before even uh, passing was necessarily be default go-to for most you know it was a learning process but the thing is with the kangos they really established themselves early as a dominant team uh with again uh, grumpiest broom as their third with along with sealable bag and uh loveridge you can see the connection between seal and love always paying off too because anytime they're on the floor and i remember this very distinctly because back in uh back in in some of the scrims at times i i, I hopped in for a uh, as a like a replacement you know a kangorilla's scrim and I just remember uh, Loveridge and Seal uh, really impressing me with how fast they were. So I was there doing my usual thing, kind of midfield and trying to distribute and, and what have you. But going against uh, or going uh, with their pair, just watching them fly across the floor is amazing. Then you add Strembitsky in the mix, into the mix, who knows uh, Sealable in real life. They know each other. They live in close proximity and uh, they're good friends there in real life. They have that connection as well in terms of the passing plays. It's either seal to SRAM or SRAM to seal an awful lot of the time in those bubble drives. So a lot of factors at play for the Kangorillas. But definitely, and going into this, they have Rockter. Everyone likes to sleep on the fifth player. 
the substitute. So Rocker is a strong player in his own right, and he has every right to be on that King Gorilla's roster. And bar, you know, the instance of anything happening, but if yeah. something happens, if they have a technical difficulty and one of their players isn't able to come back, they have Rocker here for the finals. And Rocker, we all know, is a strong player. So if anything happens, we can expect to see Rocker, and we can expect to see what he can do on the court. Oh yeah, def definitely a top player. And he was, for that matter, he was on Team Joker in the preseason. Yes, he, was. he was. He was on eleven point five once upon a time with a uh, with wit and dash. The thing is, he's a dominant player. Just the Kangos at core has uh, consistently played, so you don't expect to see Rock Tour. But it's not that because he's not capable. It's just because it's just it's not happened yet. So there's no precedent. You might notice there's uh, no season highlights for Rock Tour there. It's just uh, kind of the Kangos default highlights because he hasn't played yet. Uh, but again. If he's needed, he's there. A lot of these teams, we uh, we talked about earlier with the uh, European ones as well, where you know we see in North America at least uh, some late joins uh, onto these teams. Whether it was a uh, Simeon on a, on a Illuminati, we had we had a Rock Titan on Flare. I mean, you have these teams just in case taking on these alternate members uh, in the event that they needed them for these playoff situations. So it's it's a factor for sure. Side note. Can't ignore it because Nicholas earlier was saying Palador got that quarantine hair. You see, it looked much better in the pre-show for Europe, but then the European Championships happened, and then that happened. So, you know, it was exciting. It was energetic. I'm sorry I gel up before, but back on track because we're going to infinite the Kangos opponents uh, for this uh, next featured team on stream. So, infinite. Uh... I'll, I'll let Caption start off because uh, you know some of these players very well, in fact. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that whole backstory and what you expect from Infinite. I mean, Infinite more than impressed me, I think. Uh, since the start of them, I mean, started, I believe, all the way back in VRL Season 2. I mean, specifically YouTube and Zach have just grown massively as players and kind of climbed through the ranks. I mean, starting out as a team all the way back in the day where, you know, you're struggling to fight against, you know, teams like Eclipse with Palador, 11.5, uh, any form of these Kangos players on any sort of team to now where they're here in the top three situation at an elimination game. I mean, I, I, what else more can you say? I mean, they're they're all great. And even Palace uh, sneaking on back in the day was actually our sub for a little bit uh, yeah. the back end of season two. So he also has the previous experience. Uh, just Andy coming in. I mean, Zach's brother. So all these players together, it's just been a combined effort between seasons of making this team and just growing so much and getting on onto this roster. I mean, I, I'm more than happy to see this. I'm really, really excited to see how these guys are going to be performing here in the finals. And again, they also have Rosie Hope, who is a fifth player, an incredibly strong player in her own right. She has contributed tremendously to the infinite effort. She has been there as an all-around strong sub. She's incredibly strong in goal. She's great all around the court. She can lend her strengths wherever she's needed. So mm -hmm. if there is a technical difficulty, just like we would see Rockter, we will see Rosie. So with that being said, st incredibly strong lineups from all of these teams. And yeah, much, much like Rosie now, Sputnik with the good vibes. So yeah, exactly. Uh, Dimwi. Any any highlights for you in terms of uh, these these players or just Infinite as a whole? I, I, a lot of highlights, uh, not that many. I think I could share, but uh, they, these are these are guys. I love these guys. I love every single player on this team. Uh, I've had uh, some fun times with every single one of them. <laughs> Excuse me, and some of our, our extra, uh, you know, kind of our, our extra like uh, little. Uh, group of, of player, you know, the things we we do on uh, over the weekend. And you're making it sound uh, a lot worse than it is. We'll I, just call I, I it. Know I am. We'll call it's, it community rec league. league. Community <laughs> rec league. Yes, it's a rec league, go. basically. And uh, yeah, it's it, we have so much fun there. And there, it's just it, what I think of Palace. There's a video I put together. I'm not telling anyone to go check it out, but <laughs> I, there's a video I, I put together. It is out there, and it's it's. Uh, I called it Palace's Big Night Out because this dude. Just popped off like the, the stuff he was hitting. It was ridiculous. And by the, I mean, you could see just through the whole thing how ridiculous it really was. And by the end of it, you just got Gilligan just talking about how good Palace was because <laughs> like, he was a monster. I mean, an absolute monster. And uh, but one of my favorite things about Palace, uh, he goes into a, they call it Angry Palace. It's Angry Palace mode where something just doesn't go his way, 
and he'll start yelling, but it's not a sort of yelling that's like tilted. It's just mm-hmm. like, oh, you just you just unlock the next level of palace. Like he's <laughs> yeah. he's powering up, and uh, he'll come and he'll start. He'll he'll really start rocking on the field. And uh, yeah, he's definitely one of my favorite players to watch. But really, every single player on this team are some of my favorite players to watch to play with. Yeah. Uh, I love these guys, and uh, I really hope they do well. Uh, but yeah, Kang, uh, you know, up against Kang, it's it's a tall order. But I mean, if anybody can do it, Infinite can do it. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, these uh, infinite players, I got my introduction to some of them, really, through a, a different community uh, community league, which is to say Pizza League. That was kind of when I got really my first uh, deep dive into the, the play styles of a lot of these teams. That's kind of where I started out with a cast and started, uh, you know, doing that on, on my end. But getting to know and getting to see uh, guys like like Andy and and Palace are coming coming in on uh, some of those teams that, from what I recall, did make pretty good runs deep into uh, the playoffs. It's been a while, so uh, pardon me for not remembering who won the championships at that point. But yeah, it was just the Pizza League. It was a fun time, and it kind of a lot of that crew and and those people that we got introduced from. Uh, Infinite's not the only one. There are so many players in VRL right now that you first saw get integrated through that uh, community. You know that fun community, uh, lighthearted. Uh, again, it's pizza league, so it, it kind of tells you how how super serious it was. It was it was for fun, but it turned into kind of something more down the line. Obviously, uh, a lot of us joining up with VRML here, but it's great to see all that integration uh, come in from from those leagues, and they've done nothing but impress since. With Andy, you see his highlights there between him and Zach, the absolutely dynamic duo on offense. Hey, did you know Andy's a pilot? <laughs> I did not. None of us have ever, ever heard that before. That's not a meme. But also, he is actually... It's it's, it's, a, it's like 50-50 meme it's, it's a, <laughs> at this point. But no, yeah, he's really a pilot. It's, it's a true um, yeah, meme. It's, it's, it's a true turning meme. into a, kind of a local meme here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Andy is, uh, yeah, Andy the pilot. You see that? That's him in, uh, in the cockpit there, uh, taking a picture while he's flying a plane. Uh, you definitely want that guy flying your plane, the one that's going to take a picture while he's in the driver's seat. Uh, oh, and boy, does he fly through the arena or what? <laughs> He'll appreciate that, uh, no doubt. But I'm sure at the moment, probably just getting warmed up. Uh, but yes, uh, so uh, moving on as well. Well, actually, got to cover one more there because we got YouTube, of course. I uh, need to mention him because he had a huge... The last two weeks of YouTube has been highlight-worthy. Uh, and again, I don't mean just the uh, the video hosting site although there's a lot of videos that could be hosted purely on highlights from this man with the saves with all the plays amazing job uh, just really stepping up in this postseason to uh, enable his team to find themselves you know in these these uh playoff brackets and winning these big games like they did against joker in the round robins it's been incredible and and uh sputnik if you want to mention because I, I think we got around this yesterday palace yeah well, no, I want to talk about okay. YouTube. YouTube, an incredibly strong goalie. Oh, yeah. Incredibly strong on his one. You're our yeah. go-to goalie guy. I they got to get the goalie coverage. <laughs> but YouTube, yeah. not a player that everyone praises. And people sleep on YouTube. They sleep on his ability to make these 1v1 saves. Incredibly strong prediction skills coupled with incredibly quick reflexes. And that allows him to make these terrific saves, allowing him to make some back-to-back saves, and he's just a force to be reckoned with in the bubble. Yeah. Uh, quick uh, clarity there for the, the chat as well. So the uh, timings on this, so we ha- do have our third round, or our third place uh, bronze matchup starting here shortly in the next uh, 10 minutes-ish. But as far as the, the finals, grand finals, the upper bracket, so those times were designated the way they were just to uh, allow some space there in case, for instance... The uh, bronze match, it went to a full five rounds, which we saw over in Europe. Uh, so if it goes the full five rounds in that bracket, that, that's already a full hour of gameplay taken up. And it's not accounting for any minor delays or, or timeouts, things like that. So there's a little buffer in there. Uh, but if the games do end uh, in a shorter fashion, then I expect that the finals will uh, be moved a little bit, for or, uh, moved up. So, so you can... Uh, you don't have to wait an hour, an hour and a half between games, for instance. It's just that it's there for a buffer, but there's uh, some flexibility just depending on timings because it's kind of unpredictable on how it's going to pan out exactly. Uh, so now, with that said, we're going to move on uh, to Joker, the first place team in the world and in North America, as we mentioned earlier. They have that identical record 
as Kangorillas, but squeezing out just a little bit ahead on the MMR and on those plus minus differentials. I mean, they've had a dominant season. So, uh, no, yeah, they absolutely have. Uh, this is a, one of the strongest teams in the league. They, in we're talking a team that, uh, this is raw. Raw, unadulterated talent there. Uh, well, I mean, uh, borderline adults, but... <laughs> well, I did say unadulterated. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so... Well, gotcha. you, you can't forget Dash. I mean, Dash, Dash is, uh, Dash is kind of... That Dash is your, your... The one exception, I think, to the Joker rule would be Dash. Yeah. Dash <laughs> is kind of the, uh, the unique player. He's more of a normal player outside of Joker, but in Joker, he's a very unique player. Uh, but when you're talking about Joker, you're talking about guy... Uh, uh, I say guys, kids, uh, they're, they're, I mean, they're, 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 they, they've earned the respect of, of just being called, you know, people. They're, they're, they're amazing players. <laughs> they've earned, the, they've yeah, earned uh, the right to be called well, people. I, yeah, I don't want to call them kids. <laughs> I don't want to call them kids because that feels a little disrespectful. But to say, you know, men would be kind of young men. These are, these are young men who are, who are just how they are gifted at this game. And uh, it really shows when they're playing together. They, they, there's a reason uh, they were number one in the league, and there's a reason uh, they're 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 so good at uh, tilting other teams. And it's because no one wants to get beat by a kid. And uh, these <laughs> kids will beat you, uh, and they will do it in a way that drives Look, you crazy. Dim we? I'm feeling personally attacked right now. <laughs> Bringing back some some memories from about a year ago. No, I just uh, well, I mean, I, I've been wall off by Joker myself a few times. To be fair, uh, I yeah, it's uh, they were just they're a really good team. Uh, there's a reason they're first place. There's a reason they're already in the finals here. And yeah, uh, yeah it's just uh, like I said, unadulterated talent here on this team, uh, and especially with Dash on that back line. Dash, I think, was the best addition they could have ever made to this roster. Uh, the moment he came in, their game didn't completely change, but you could see it, the touch it of Dash. Matured. Yeah, it really did, and uh, he definitely brought a lot to the table. Dash, because on that note, uh, sorry, I'll finish that thought quick. Because on that note, Dash, my my thing with Jokers, I always said they their their meta style game, their back passing, that kind of thing. The even the cross passing was never their strong suit at first, and it's gotten just so dramatically better now. And I think some of that, a lot of that, credit to uh, all the members, but Dash especially, just being that solidified kind of backliner, the 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 calming force where he sits there and he directs traffic. Uh, when I played on eleven. 0.5 slash eclipse amalgamation that was going to potentially happen going into uh, a new season before I did the casting stuff. That was one of the, the things I noticed with, with Dash that he really he sits there and he's a general. He directs traffic. He tells you who's where on defense. He tells you where you need to go. So having that kind of a presence in your back line as like a player coach who's also just a great player, period. Not to mention the coaching. It's a huge, uh, huge benefit for any team. Yeah, absolutely. And I wanted to touch on that. I mean, you pretty much covered it all, but Dash is such a strong communicator. On top of his incredibly strong skills within goal, able to make 1v1 stops, able to read offensive movement, respond to it defensively, and really this cohesive force that really draws all of Joker together and really streamlines their communication and their cooperation. Yeah. Uh, Caption, any, any thoughts and opinions on the incomparable I, I do, if you can hear me. I think my yes, at least my audio it. went out. Okay, um, but yeah, I won't. I'm not going to skip the sub this time because uh, there is there's <laughs> actually quite a bit to uh, talk about with Skinny because oh, yeah. uh, he's uh, he's been one player that's uh, come through in this league so far. At least uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Dimwi. You might know, but I believe he's actually played in a match against both of these teams because I believe there was a time when Jay Walker uh, had had to uh, step out, and Skinny really stepped up, and I mean, that's when they were on their big winning streak, and they kept winning with Skinny on the lineup, so regardless yeah. of what goes on, I mean, we've seen Skinny step in for a whole minute, I believe, for at least maybe a little bit more at the end yesterday, and they were still playing at the top of their level. He's he's a sub that's coming in that just doesn't really change their gameplay or their game style at all, and still wins a lot of games. And I, I don't know uh, if if he came in for those specific games, but I can say he came in for eight regular season games, and in every single one they won in two. Uh, so yeah. if it was if it was any of those against those teams, yeah, he was he was in that game, and uh, they won that game in two. They did not lose. They have not lost uh, with using Skinny in their roster. They have not lost a single game uh, with him on the roster. Just a, just a fun little factoid there uh, as we move on today. Yeah, and uh, winding down this pre-show, but just to cover a few more of these players, I want to put a spotlight on Jaywalker as well, because uh, 
it, it was a topic of discussion because we saw it at at play yesterday. Uh, and I mentioned a little earlier on how, you know, Pizza League players and things I noticed. So I already knew about Jay Walker uh, before Pizza League, of course. But one of the things about him compiling highlights, whether it was these highlights, whether it was the other highlight video in the past, uh, he is he has a really, really great mind for uh, positioning and, and just knowing where to be. It seems like so very often when it, it comes to those devastating uh, midline defenders of, of Joker, those intercepts uh, off of just frantic clears and aggression, it's it's Jay Walker. He's going to be the one just in the right place, uh, hiding behind a Geo somewhere, maneuvering around cleverly, but he just knows anytime, anytime there's a loose disc, uh, you can tell like the thought process of just, okay, that player on that team is about to get the disc. Where do I need to be? Like, where's the most likely place that that clear is going to go? And he's there, and he gets so many of these grabs uh, based off of that, and then he throws in all kinds of crazy offensive moves with, with uh, the typical Joker style of just craziness, bounces, doing what they want, and it works out more often than not. And, yeah, so uh, just a spotlight on him a little bit because uh, I it, it's the little things that kind of go a long way for his game. Just to point out the the Jay Walker shot, I call it the Jay shot, and it's just a it's that no look three sixty mm -hmm. uh, fling towards it. Whoops, fling towards a goal as I make are, contact are we, with the. Are we the doing this again? Behind me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no. But, uh, yeah, thing. We, uh, we still haven't nailed the high five yet. So I mean, are, we gonna, we're, are we gonna try it? We're gonna try it. Uh, Bam! All right, I think. boom. Yeah, something good. like that. I don't know, I'm watching it. Uh, you're on the wrong so side. Anyways, yeah. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We, we, look, this is the last chance we got to do this. So it's here for me. Yeah, yeah right, look, right, it, three, it, it, two, one, high five. Boom, Woo! there we go. All right, cool. <laughs> cool. Guaranteed thing I think the stream's nice. going to see. Yeah, oh, man. But no, uh, yeah, Jay Walker has that 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 uh, that fling shot, the J shot. Uh, you can use that to describe what it is. You're kind of making a J with the disc around your body. It's a great shot. Yeah, I love, uh, love watching these guys play, and I'm really excited to see them later on. Absolutely. Uh, so with that said, we've got a few minutes until our scheduled start time where Already uh, filing into the match. The players are here. So, from the pre-show panel, I've been Palador. That's been Sir Di I don't know. It's all mirrored. Anyway, Sir Dimwi is in one of these areas. Uh, Sputnik is in another area. And Caption and Wit down below in another area. Area. Anyway, so we're going to go <laughs> to our match. Uh, so, bear with us. We're going to switch it up here. And, yeah, thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for the bronze matchup of North America in VR Master League.
All right, folks, welcome back to all of our viewers here for VRML, this exciting conclusion. We've already gotten our European Champions crown just a couple hours ago, and now we're looking to do the same here in North America. Uh, from the caster's booth, I'm Palador, being joined once more by Sir Dimwi. We've got Sputnik Cobra, the mid-round of the intermission analysis there between the rounds. We've got Wit on the cameras, and we've got a, ourselves this match between Kangorillas and Infinite for the third place uh, title. Uh, the winner of this one advancing to face Joker in the upper bracket for the championship. So, uh, Sir Dimwi, what's up? Yeah, this is a it's a big game. It's gonna be a great game between these two teams. These two teams that uh, that come out fighting all the. I mean, just they they only have one mode of play, and uh, that is uh, that is hard. That is sweaty. That is real. Uh, now <laughs> yeah. they have played. They did face off three times during the season. Kang did take all three of those. I did note that in that pre-show. But oh man, Infinite is on fire lately. Uh, they beat Joker in two just the other day. Joker, the team that uh, uh, Kang was the only team able to beat during the season. Um. Good, um, uh, can I can sorry. I just pause real quick? Because Shrem is losing his mind dancing by the blue goal. I'm very confused and concerned, but I'm I'm root, I'm, I'm rooting for Shrem and his moves at the moment. Uh, <laughs> getting ready to start. Anyway, yeah, kind of losing his mind over there. Uh, as we were loading in, I, I could hear uh, some big diatribe about uh, something to do with. Uh, 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 soldering your your switch controllers. So I don't know. Shrem's on another level. Shrem's always <laughs> operating on another level. Uh, He's on I another plane of existence. I love, yeah. Uh, I love uh, uh, you know. I'll pop in his stream periodically and mess with him. He's always a hoot, and uh, he's definitely uh, absolutely one of the best players in the game, uh, if not the best player in the game. So uh, definitely, uh, uh, definitely a lot of leeway for Shrem to uh, operate on whatever level he wants uh, in reality. And uh, just real quick before the before this launch gets started, just uh, check in with Sputnik. Uh, are, how are you uh, expecting this match to unfold? There's a lot of factors at play, but yeah. I've got no predictions. I'm just looking forward Smart. to a great matchup. And with the countdown underway, I'm going to hand it right back off to you. All right, well, smart on the lack of predictions because it, it's so impossible. Anything can happen, and that's been the running theme since last week, especially the round robins, but then yesterday, uh, a good shot actually going to be taken out here and then going to be actually rejected, so Palace. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I, I, I can't possibly predict anymore because these teams just surprising over and over. Yeah, they absolutely do, but it's going to be Kangorilla's uh, staying in control of this disc. They had that uh, that initial opportunity uh, with that shot, but that one went wide. They're still in control now. Leverage sending this one into uh, Sealable. Sealable going up to Strem. Strem cuts in into the bubble there with speed. He's going to put that one in at 18 meters a second. That's our first points on the board in round one of the semifinals of the bronze match. 34 seconds in. Kang's up 2-0. There you go. They got it. Didn't, didn't uh, find it the first time around, but two points is... Uh going to be up on the board here first in, the, in that first minute. So again, for those uh, unaware, perhaps this is indeed bronze match. And furthermore, it's best of five uh, all the way through for the rest of the day in these streams. So coming off of what was a nine round series earlier on from Team Gravity and Washed Up, well, we're going to see what this uh, best of five format has to provide today as Shram gets a very good start, a very quick fling, and just right out of the goal again, so couldn't convert on that opportunity, but dangerously holding on for too long, and Loverage! Defensive coverage, there's four points for King Gorillas. Yeah, what a play there by Loverage. Shram is causing all sorts of trouble, and then uh, ultimately Infant is able to get away with that, And uh, uh, but then Loverage, no. Loverage says no, and uh, stuns out that goalie there. I, I, I didn't catch the player, he stunned out, but he did get that rest control, that disc, put it in for another two, and now Kang's up by four as we get the restart here. Uh, looking like, uh, actually, I'm not sure what the restart was for, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, good goal there from Kang. Doing a really good job of uh, controlling the disc thus far uh, in the game. They got that turnover after the infinite joust and uh, came back with another goal. And uh, that, I mean, that's what Kang has to do in order to beat infinite. Uh, if they can, uh, you know, all they got to do, if, if you're going to trade goals back and forth, you know, two for two, uh, all you got to do is, is disrupt, uh, you know, uh, cause a turnover in one or two of those situations and uh, uh, punish that turnover. Uh, to take a lead and I uh, pull out a victory. Absolutely. Yeah, so, oh, well, Sputnik, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Going to come in with some analysis. I mean, we're only two minutes into this match, but I talked about the defensive coverage of Kangorillas, and you had Loveridge maybe out of position 
typically, but able to apply that man pressure deep in the bubble of Infinite, get that steal, and come away with two points. So two minutes off the clock, four point lead to Kangorillas. They're looking pretty hot right now. Yeah, uh, for Kangorillas as well. I just so yesterday in those in those matches, I, I talked about the surprises. Well, we saw uh, Instinct taking a game off Kangos. We saw Kangos swept in the first round versus Joker. So that, that that's exactly why we say predictions are just out of the window. All we can expect is some top tier gameplay uh, from these teams. And uh, yeah, it just. I don't know. I'm I'm really enthused over what we've already seen today. Uh, these teams playing again for that championship glory, for the the respect from the peers. Of course, it just it means a lot to these players to be here at this level uh, after all these years. For a lot of these players competing and just staying in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, yeah uh, no, this is a, a really big game for both these teams, and it, so far it's been uh, it's been uh, a lot of Kang. Uh, you know, Kang's doing a really good job of stuffing Infinite around mid when Infinite uh, did have control, and uh, Kang getting uh, those points on the board early is really, really big here. Uh, even though this is a best of five, we're only in the first minute half of the first round uh, of, of, of a of a minimum of three rounds. Uh, so very early on, and uh, yeah, just uh, waiting to get started here. Back, uh, we have, I mean, we never lost anybody, so I'm not sure where the restart was for, but uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, both teams readying up, so we're going to get started back here. 4-0 uh, in favor of Kang, 8.36 left on the clock, round one of the semifinals. Absolutely, and for those joining us once more, Oculus Venues, Facebook Live, Twitch TV, appreciate you very much. Also, much appreciation to our sponsors with uh, Pro2 VR, VR Cover Fix Gaming Rebuff Reality. Uh, adding to all of that, the $1,000 prize pool uh, in, in in gift cards and money, merchandise, what have you. Got jerseys also, custom jerseys for VR Master League on the line. And got just a lot of pride on the line. So YouTube, with that clear, actually the pass out intended, but still does turn into a clear. The stack trying to get it back. But look at the double stun in synchro uh, synchronization. That was almost a, a super aesthetic from those, those stacking pairs but we'll be stuck here in the middle based off all these brawls now. Someone's gonna get slapped out there by, uh, look like Andy, uh, one of the W's anyways, I mean, right into the hands there of YouTube. YouTube now gonna move this one through mid, sends that one in deep there, it does have Andy. Andy though is gonna get immediately sent out by that stacking pair, that was a uh, sealable bag and Matt uh, coming back, sending it on back to Shrem and now Shrem turning this one around for Kang, uh, slowing it down, moving it up, gonna make something happen here in offense. And continues to be stuck in the middle a bit. You can see none of these teams are, are shy with really pressing hard onto the mid midfield, causing these turnovers, causing the, the panic at times. Because uh, for both these teams, and for especially King in particular, they really do love to do that slow game, that slow work up the floor. So I think for Infinite, if the strategy is to come in here and just bother them in the midfield, make them execute passes all the way up and down the entire field, that's going to prove to be beneficial. Oh, absolutely it will and now uh, look at this passing here from Kang they're, they're, they're making it so difficult they're all a palace almost forcing that turnover but Sealable gets that stun off and gets that one back sends it down there to Leverage Leverage now moving in on the side here under pressure it's trying to send that one in but look at the read there YouTube is going to stop that pass from happening now getting sent out but right there back in the hands of Shrembitsky here for Kang Gorilla is moving back into the offensive zone here Shrem moving it up does have that pass down there to Seal Seal sending this one back look we're mad there but that one's a little off the mark so it's going to be a bit of a race right here but Matt having no problem Recollecting that one, gonna send that one over to Shrem off the ceiling, but Palace with the read, gonna get the grab on that, send it away. Man, this defense from uh, from Infinite continues to be just suffocating an elite tier over the weeks, over the season, but especially in these big time games, these big time situations, it's more and more evident than ever the work they put into defense and how crucial it is to uh, a lot of their success. So with a sealable. Over here, the, the saving grace for Kangorillas is that uh, even if they get a little disarrayed by this defense, it's just that Infinite hasn't really been able to work their mix quite yet. Uh, but look at this. I mean, Kangorillas, they're, they're really forcing these passes to go through, and Sealable Bag does get the two. But again, how many times did they have to pass over the course of the last two minutes and 41 seconds just to get themselves two points? It's a lot of expended energy, a lot of precision on the passes necessary just to get a couple... Uh, points. 
It is a lot of expended energy, but it's also 6-0 here with five and a half to go. Uh, Infinite really needs to start putting some points on the board here. You know, they're 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 they're, they're causing a lot of disrupt. Oh, Strap oh. with that shot. That one's gonna go in for the deep three there. Uh, I estimate right about 20 meters, 25 meters out. And uh, yeah, that one's good for the three. And now Kang's up by nine. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. Infinite has not been able to uh, put too much pressure on the Kang goal when they do. You know, they, they've had a couple opportunities. But right there, they, they can't even get through mid. Uh, and they have to be able to do that. Because right now, not only is Kang forcing these turnovers, uh, but Kang is punishing all those turnovers. And when Kang gets disrupted, they're not turning it over. They get it right back. So Infinite's really got to clean this up here uh, to come back here in this round. Yeah, that's still half the round remaining. But... Kangarilla's doing what they do. So against any other team, I would say, against most teams in the league, if you have Infinite playing this kind of defense, that's where you see the results. That's where you see the Joker sweeps. That's where you see uh, the uh, uh, winning out against Illuminati the other week. The same kind of thing. Against the majority of teams, this kind of defensive pressure is going to be very stifling. Uh, but Kangarilla's because of these passes like that oh, to Mad wow. that they've been doing for years, for seasons. This is why it's 11 points up now for Kangarilla's because... Despite the pressure, execution on those cross passes is the name of Kang's game. Yeah, no, and uh, you notice uh, we're not seeing much of that infinite chain on defense now. Is that Kang really, uh, we saw it to start the game. Uh, but now Infinite opting more for a man on defense as uh, Kang's passing has really just tore up that uh, that Infinite uh, 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 defensive chain. But Infinite moving it into the offensive zone here. Palace in that trench there, trying to make some space here, trying to get his team uh, spread out into those passing positions. Going to back that one up to YouTube. U YouTube sending that one over to Andy. Andy going back to YouTube. They have Zach on the ceiling. They do go to Zach. Zach now looking to iron up that goal. Instead going down there to Palace. Palace taking the shot. But that one's going to go just wide. And now Strem's getting the hand on it. Going to send this one away. It's still struggling to find that offensive rhythm, that momentum where the defense has been a mighty fine overall, but when Kangos do get as many passes and scores as they as they do in these attempts, that's what's really getting them the lead as, oh, that shot would have gone in and not been Zach W in the area, but that's the trouble. So here goes the stacks again. There's Shrem, there's Matt, a little bit of an overshoot. Will enable maybe a two on two to unfold that goal. We'll see. Coming in is Andy. Andy getting uh, looking for a pass, but Palace being stunned out by Mad, diving out, and Zach oh. couldn't find the bottom of the goal on that one either. So another rebound maybe at play, but continuing to remain scoreless for Infinite. Yeah, Infinite getting a lot of really close opportunities there, but not able to finish it off. And now it's going to be sent down here to Sealable Back. Sealable Back going to send that one back as he gets stunned out there. And uh, now, yeah, Strem winning that race to that disc there. Going to send that one over to Matt on that far side wall, uh, running across the floor there. Now you see uh, a YouTube set up and goal. He's look for that cross pass there to leverage, but it's off the mark. And Zach getting the grab on that, uh, that bounce there, sending it away. But Strem very quick to recover that one, sending it right back in. And now Sealable going to take that shot and put it in on the goalie. Good for the two and kangaroos are up by 13. yeah they've got that baker's dozen of points and fittingly they are cooking right now 13 to 0 looking to maybe shut out or even approach a oh this is the point in time this juncture i know the game might be looking out of hand for infinite or at least the round that is to say but this is this is a very important juncture regardless of the outcome of round one uh infinite needs a score they need to find something good to take away into the next round so even if they don't come out on top here for round one, they can still make moves to carry over uh, for the next 10 minutes. Um, we've definitely seen it happen quite a few times. And oh, that feed there, it's sealable, or excuse me, yeah, sealable getting the grab on that one, sending it out of the bubble. Uh, but where you, you, uh, a team will, uh, uh, they'll get it, they'll, they'll be losing a game, but they, oh, there it is, Strem off of that, uh, that feed. So sealable clears it down. Strem gets, a, uh, who is that? Strem and Loveridge get together for the chain. Strem gets their first in the bubble. He's able to pop that one in. No hesitation. Good for the two. Kangaroo is up by 15. Uh, but no, uh, it's one of those things that you see a team, even as they're, get, uh, you know, the score is getting away from them, uh, they're about to lose the game. They can score a goal, and that's the sort of thing they can roll over into the next round to build off of. Uh, so, you know, you know, Infinite is not going to be letting up here no matter what the scoreboard says, no matter what the time board says uh, as we continue on here with just a minute 14 to go here in round one. Long match, best of five, 10 minutes, continuous, and we're continuing to roll as Infinite still looking for their first goal. Andy can't find the handles. We'll get it over, bring it over, clap it over to Palace. Palace has some options. They got the triangle rolling up top, up high to the side, every which way, but mad in a stride, gets it and clears it right out through mid. It's going to bounce around a little bit, but there's three different Kangos there for the recovery, for some more boost, and maybe YouTube trying to brawl, but unsuccessfully so as Strembitsky does go for the goal. 18 points, shutting out. Again, with 40 seconds left. 
He said YouTube was doing the only thing he could figure out that he could do. He knew he wasn't going to win that race, so he decided maybe I can uh, stop them from getting there and make some more time for the team to get back here to maybe get that disc. But no, uh, he got stunned on himself. That's a good goal there for Kang. They're up by 18 here in round one. And now YouTube going to send that one across there to Andy. Andy now sending this one far across the palace. Palace sending this one deeper into Zach. Zach now immediately under pressure by that chain, but they don't. Uh, hit him. 13 seconds ago, Andy going to send this one into Zach. Zach now moving in for a one-on-one -on, -one on the goalie. Uh, taking that there shot, going uh, behind the back there a little bit, getting it over the shoulder. Good for the two. And uh, yeah, that's going to be something Infinite can build off of as we go into round two. But round one is firmly in the hands of Kangaroos. 18-2 to two over Infinite. And now we'll go to Sputnik Cobra for his analysis here. What are your notes like? Because there was a lot to talk about from Kango's side especially. It was only anything from Kengo's side, just Infinite not able to get into a rhythm, not able to find success against Kangorilla's defense. In a lot of instances in the first half of this first round, Kangorilla's would be out of position, or they would be applying pressure down court. Infinite would be able to get past them, but the incredi incredibly, incredibly quick boosting from Kangorilla's would be able to meet them in their backcourt, take possession back. So, just... Infinite being outclassed in this first round. They're not able to get into a rhythm. They can't find any success against Kangorillas, and Kangorillas' offense is just running rampant. Yeah, so the thing is, this is uh, not unprecedented. We've seen some of these rounds lately where there is a blowout, there, and, and there's somewhere. In fact, Kangorillas, despite the fact that they went up 18 uh, points here, I mean, they, they know very, very well that at any given moment, uh, Infinite is liable to pop off. Uh, Infinite... Yesterday, in fact, uh, I believe in that game versus Instinct that uh, Sputnik casted there on Channel 2 had uh, a second round victory against uh, Instinct at the time, and it was a, a blowout as well, scoreless for, for that, but then Instinct the next round, they brought it right back, and that one ended on a, on a single goal game in round three favoring Infinite, but we even see, uh, seen that from that Team Gravity and a washed up match earlier on where in round three of the first finals it was washed up getting blown out in in that round and you thought okay maybe this is done now it's it's mentally lost no they came back uh they won the next couple and they forced that grand final series which was epic in its own right so there's still a lot of time on the table in this best of five Oh, there absolutely is. And now Zach, right up to Andy. Andy, right back to Zach. Some give and go here. Four on one against the goal here. Andy's going to bring that one in. Oh, but the stop. And then it's a stun there. Now YouTube is going to come away with it. But that was a big opportunity lost there. And then Andy getting stunned out there. And that one getting sent away by Sealable all the way back into the infinite zone. That's a th that's what they can't be doing oh, oh, here. Oh, and that one's going to bounce dangerously close. But YouTube <laughs> will be getting the hands on it first. That alone, if that had gone in, that would have been just backbreaking on the mentality as anything because... Man, uh, those long heaves, but players are so good at knowing the general areas they need to place it to give it a chance, and that one almost went in. So a uh, sealable bag gets the clear, right? Uh, finding past the hands of YouTube, so there's a lightly boosted Loveridge coming in, being met by the defense, just dodging over Zach. Loveridge looking for a teammate somewhere to bail him out a little bit, and now getting the oh, shot oh. off of it. The two-man game. This time, Loveridge and Strem. Yeah, that was uh, that was Strem to uh, excuse me, Loveridge passing it to Strem, and then Loveridge kind of sliding up under the goalie there, and that was kind of an option play there where Strem could could have either taken the shot with Loveridge uh, going after the goalie or uh, exactly what we saw there, but Strem sending it to Loveridge and Loveridge able to set that one in, and that is our first goal of the game here. Two minutes in, uh, Kangaroo is taking a two goal lead here in round two. Lots of twos. Yeah, and uh, Andy is going to take that in now, looking for a, a pass fake, perhaps. We'll just be stunned out, losing the disc to Strembitsky. And the defense continuing to just play dividends as well for Kangorillas, for as good as they were on offense. It, they, they're offering a lot of these brawls around that bubble, the edge of the bubble, much like Infinite has been uh, recently. And now is in the back line, just kind of biding their time, trying to bait out the defenders. Yeah, and doing a fairly decent job of it as well as the defenders did come out. They did get the stun, though, so uh, backing it out once more here. Kang is slowing it down two minutes into this game in round two. Uh, this one, a good feed there to Sealable. Sealable looking at empty nets. Oh, it bounces off the inside of the post. You don't get much closer than that without it going in. Wow. I can't believe that didn't go in. Yeah, it was right there on the inside. So in a stride, it will be rebounded. <laughs> Zach, Zach assisting himself, but... It's two points, just the same, and uh, tied up here. 
Yeah, you can see Zach felt the pressure there. He knew he had very little time to work with, so he went for the no look and dings it right off. But fortunately, he's able to get that rebound right back, and that's good enough to tie it up here for the first time in this series. We see T Infinite tying the score here. Uh, two to two, 7.20 to go here in round two. <laughs> the reflexes to be able to catch that miss, though. That was such close range. It was like, there's Zach! Finding himself a goal, but no, cut off there. That, those are one of those rhythm plays, and that would have gone in had it not been just for the defender uh, just in the right place, right time, but only barely. But again, Infinite still retaining and sending another shot out there, but uh, turnover perhaps unforced, and that's the kind of things that are costing them a little bit here in the series so far. You know, these are sort of things that, that, you know, Infinite can do against a lot of the teams they play. But against Kang, there's long threes. Uh, they're very, against a team like Kang, they're very ambitious. And I'm mad stopping both of those from happening. And now it's going to be Kang Gorillas in possession, moving into the Infinite zone. They're approaching the bubble there. Seal Ball going up to Shrem. Shrem going over there to uh, Lovers. Lovers over to Seal Ball, and they get it in. Look at that passing sequence there. That was four passes between three players. Uh, excuse me, five passes between three players and ultimately sealable. Leverage is sealable. Sealable pops it in for the two. Absolutely. I do want to give a quick shout out on, on uh, that note to Bad Internet to BTW. I saw it mentioned on the stream. And uh, the $50 donation, that's 50 euros, excuse me. Super generous. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, we don't have it pinged on the, the stream just because, you know, the context of the games and such. But. Uh, very, very much appreciated. I, I caught that on the site. So thank you. As Andy W takes a disc, uh, it's still plenty in the reach, but I think just the execution right now for Infinite needs to, to improve because you see stuff like oh. that with the long distance uh, heaves those bounces just it makes it very tough to kind of get a good angle on, the, on that goal. Uh, with the Kangos defense just looming. So that's a good pass, but just stuffed Ooh. again by some punches as Stram retains and leers. You know, this Kang bubble defense is, uh, against Infinite is reminding me of Infinite's bubble defense against Joker. And not just in Kai, but Mad. Mad's going to get down there first. As you know, there are a bunch of stuns going out in the backfield, preventing any chance from getting down here. And Mad's going to get there first, put that one in for them, too. And Kangaroos are now up by four. Uh, but no, it's 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 full on starting to look like, I mean, the way Kang is playing in that bubble there, they're stuffing Infinite. It's all stuns. Uh, it's like 90% stuns. And uh, yeah, the Infinite's not able to make anything happen there over on the Kang's bubble. Kang is just making it impossible for them. Yeah, and despite that, I, it's still only four point game. There's the reset coming up the, to the back fielder, the midfield uh, mad. I mean, whether he's in the goal, whether he's at middle, he's just always that, that anchor on defense. Much the same uh, as YouTube is for Infinite. That's kind of Mad's role as well. Both super talented in those roles. Certainly able to score uh, when needed, but uh, for the most part, they're just they're there to distribute to kind of captain from that back line and just offer uh, some alleviation anytime things get panicked. And I think for Infinite, they need to try and utilize a bit more of that and uh, kind of to the similar degree that Kangos is uh, able to right now. And Kang, look at Matt, the control here. Matt, they have two infinite players out of out of position there, and that gives them the room to operate in the bubble. Leverage going to bring that one in for the two uh, from five meters out, and that's what they were trying to do. That's what they that's what teams are doing. When you're seeing them holding the disc on the back line like that, they're trying to draw that defense out to give them room to work with, and they had two of the infinite players there pulling way out of the bubble, and that gave them the room to work with there, and that, that's good enough for another two. So yet again here with three minutes, uh, under four minutes rather, left on the clock. Infinite needs to find something. Uh, I just, I feel like all the good defense just being undone by the uh, the offense, not really getting through on some of these, these passes specifically. So that's a good back pass here to YouTube. He's gonna uh, wind it up and look for the pass, but okay, see what happened there as well. Kind of floating with a disc, the, the QB with no passing options. So once you leave the anchor, you're exposed to the defenses, uh, just like that goal is exposed Ooh. to the defense, but uh, couldn't convert. But that's kind of what I mean, the offensive execution, you know, moving up the field, but with no available passes and no available anchors. You're just kind of in no man's land. Yeah, and now Shrem has a uh, seal ball cutting in. And, ooh, oh, wow. Andy coming out the challenge, going to get the steal and the stun on that one. Oh, but that clear is going to bounce. Take that, that bad bounce there. Seal ball is going to come over with that one. So Kangaroo is back in control here. Mad up to Shrem. Shrem going right back to Mad, fanning that one, trying to trick this defense out, trying to get them to make a mistake. They do have Palace coming out the challenge, so that one's going to get sent in there to seal ball. Seal ball crossing to Shrem. Shrem now one on one with the goal. Ooh. He's going to send that one in low, and it's good for the two. And now Kangaroos are up by eight. So more opportunities there to put some points on the board. Just 
uh, rebounding. And the thing is, uh, in this round at least, the shots taken actually 8-8. Eight to eight. Uh, There was that restart to adjust the time, so I don't have the immediate stats for you on the whole series. But just currently, 8 shots taken apiece. Uh, it, it's Kangorillas, though, able to convert at a higher percentage to, uh, to the tune of 8 points on the extra points on the board over Infinite. Uh, with Infinite now on offense and looking to execute. There were a few really good look of passes there from Infinite, but that last one was just off the mark, and that's immediately being turned around. Seable taking that long shot, but that YouTube is going to get there first, and then sending that one away in a panic uh, as that chain came in very, very quickly. Zach, they're going to send this one up, looking for a teammate there. They do get the chain down there first. They get the hands on it first. It looked like Palace may have grabbed that one from YouTube by mistake, uh, but nonetheless, they get the two points in, and that's going to be good for another two. Uh, but just a minute and 40 to go here, just about 10 to 4 in favor of Kang. That's a six-point difference. So that's a minimum of two goals that Infinite needs to get here to come back here in this round two. Oh, they can do it. There's no doubting. Uh, despite the fact that the offense hasn't really gotten quite yet here, there is absolutely no doubting the striking ability, the scoring ability from the likes of Andy, from Zach, uh, from Palace, YouTube when he needs to. But again, just the that trio and especially that duo, the, the, the two brothers. Uh, leave me saying, oh, brother, all the time because of the shots that they make. So it's they're just one shot away at each of these possessions from making it a close game and, and from finding that rhythm. No, they really are. I mean, they, you know, Infinite's one of those teams. Oh, what a steal there by Zach. What a grab. Uh, had his go. hand in the right place at the right time, holding down that grip button. He gets that one sent away, and the stacks are away. Trying to challenge this one is Infinite, but uh, okay. Oh, nice steal there from Palace. So Palace sending this one in deep, finding out uh, who's that Andy there in the bubble. Andy can't get the grab on it. He does ultimately, though, sending that one over to Zach, but another miss pass there. Palace now going to feed this one into Andy. Andy going to go for that shot. He does nice. get it in. Good for the two. And that's only a four point game, but. With only uh, 40 seconds on the clock when that one went in, I fear we are out of that fabled methodical time. Yes, we're going to have 12 seconds. So that will be round two to Kangorillas over Infinite here in the bronze match. It would seem to be the case here as they do roll. Man, just taking that and he's holding it. Just waiting, waiting, and clearing. Uh, so one more pass there and just this point can uh, walk it out if they wish. But as we said, this is a best of five. So... We're still going to get a guaranteed uh, third round here. That's still time for Infinite to do something with it, as that shot just narrowly uh, misses. Uh, just got to reset the uh, the old mentality there and find their their plays. I think they, they started putting together some more scores uh, towards the end there, made it a much uh, closer, comfortable second round of sorts. So I, I think there will be some carryover effect, hopefully, uh, for Infinite. And going into this third round, Kangorillas is looking incredibly strong. Infinite able to gain some traction from the first round. They weren't shut out. They weren't stopped from scoring in the last few seconds. But a display of Kangorilla's incredibly strong positional play, coupled with precise passing, surgically precise passing, able to cut their way through the Infinite defense. And the Infinite bubble defense just isn't able to respond. While Kangorilla's bubble defense is able to shut down Pretty much everything that Infinite has, Infinite able to make some plays in the bubble in the later half of the round. But for the majority of it, just Kangorillas continue to put pressure up and down the court, switch between man coverage and zone coverage, find these plays, find these interceptions. And Infinite is just struggling immensely against Kangorillas' defense. And it's it's not an uncommon theme, uh, per se. At this level, once more, it's, it's not... An unusual sight to see t these master tier teams just shutting each other out at, on occasion. Uh, just at the level that they're playing with, we always go to it on stream. We mention it. Just uh, the mistakes are so much more costly because uh, when being off on a pass or a shot by a single inch or just timing something ever so slightly off, uh, you're you're punished so hard from these master tier teams uh, more so. And that's why the execution just it matters so much. And Kangorillas, like you mentioned, Sputnik are executing surgically with that pass. And Matt winds it in from that top shoulder. Yeah, what a shot there from Matt. A big windmill there as he brings that one over the, the, the defender in almost a swim motion. And it gets that one in for the two. And that's going to be a first goal on the board here in round three. Mad for Kangorillas. 17 seconds in, up by two here, 920 to go. And Infinite coming out, rolling out with that jealous advantage. This is going to be an incredible, incredibly important 
opening joust as they do in fact get it. So the first offensive joust for uh, Infinite, converted by Zach, assisted by Andy. And like I said, that was going to be super important. They need to start this one off strong because this is this is the third round here. If they lose this one, they're out. Uh, so the time to shine is now more than ever. Yeah, you know, you know, Infinite's feeling that pressure right now. They know if they, they, I mean, this is this is potentially their final round of the season, and they don't want it to be. So they're going to be working uh, particularly hard here. They're kind of manning up right now. Uh, although that pass to Strem, oh Strem, wow. getting very close to sinking that one in for another three. But it will those be handled now by Leverage. Sorry, God. Those are the ones that can hurt if it didn't work out. But look at that, you two. Woo! So that back to back. First, he had the dive on the player there outside on the three-point line. Risky, but it worked. On that one, just a straight up head on save as that disc flies right past the goal and just awaiting the hands there, the outreach hands of Strembitsky who looks for the midfield where he does have two or three teammates waiting and trying to find something. But there's Palace, there's a Zach and right through nearly on target, but missing. But I, I do feel like Infinite's rhythm starting to uh, look good here defensively again because there's the disc, there's the rebound and here's the offense maybe at play. Yeah, Palace over to Andy. Andy going up to Zach on the ceiling. Zach back to Andy. Oh, and that pass is just going to miss a mark one more time again. And now Andy going to look for that no-look throw at the goal. And that one also going to go high and wide. And now Matt sending this one out to mid. They're going to dribble here. Strem now. Strem with this one under some pressure, though. Uh, going to take some time with it. Going to send this one softly over. Uh, trying to hit Seal Ball on his way in. But a little bit off the mark. Seal Ball ultimately uh, almost getting to it. Does get a good slap there. Back to Strem. Strem going uh, over to Matt. Matt under pressure. Just going to tap this one back there to love. Leverage. And now Leverage is going to move this one as he has a little bit more room to work with. Oh, look at those passes there. Uh, that is phenomenal. Seal will ultimately coming away with that one. But that one, uh, even when they even when they miss their – see, this is uh, – I, I, don't, I don't know why it works out like this. We see missed passes for Kang, still in the hands of Kang. Missed passes for Infinite, in the hands of Kang. So Kang, I don't know if it's her position or what, but they're coming away with like 90% of these loose discs. Although yeah, Infinite with an opportunity here – and backing it to YouTube, so just trying to play it more patiently once that stack came in. And now backing it uh, to YouTube again, he's going to go to the other side here, as Andy will just anchor briefly, back out, and look for the bow tie. Now, I, I think it's a mix of both. One, Kang's positioning on every side of the lane uh, is buying them those extra rebounded opportunities. Uh, with Infinite, you see on some of these loose discs, they're kind of clustering up a little bit, so the positioning not, not quite as strong as usual. But Andy, uh, the shot there, not on the mark, but... Still good positioning. I mean, every lane is filled from infinite, so if they can just connect on some of these passes. There you go. Up high to Zach in one of his favorite spots, but just nowhere to go with it. And leverage the uh, denial and immediately on the stack. Look at that. Three different players from King. You got three different players from infinite. And you got an exposed goal just briefly, but it Ooh. will uh, roll to the wedge. And uh, infinite just kind of being wedged right now, it seems like. Yeah, I mean, they really are. It's still a tie game, though. Six minutes to go here in round three, now being handled by Shrembitsky. Shrem yeah. going to take his time on this near side wall. He does have uh, Andy right in front of him, so he's going to go ahead and back that one out to Mad. Mad here going to take his time trying to draw out the defender. Uh, doesn't get what he's looking for, so he goes ahead and boots it up to Shrem. Shrem now up to Seal. Seal now deep into the uh, infinite zone. Going to back this one up to Leverage. Leverage now. Uh, moving up, going to back this one up again. And you see how they're kind of moving up in like a snake-like fashion where the person in front starts backing it up and then immediately shifts upward. And that's how they're moving up the field here. As Mad going across there, but what a read there by Infinite. They're going to get that one sent out and now a race for this disc. It is going to get slapped out of the zone here. At, at the moment, it seems like the same case as it was. Uh, hold that thought. There's Zach with the shot just off the Ooh. mark. That would have been big for them to take a lead, which has been uh, something they've been struggling to find here the last several minutes, the last couple of rounds, but luckily an intercept. Uh, but this was the case in round two as well. The score, I mean, didn't necessarily tell a story. At the moment, you'd think Kang has all the momentum on their side here, but you look at the scoreboard halfway through the round, it is tied up. So still in the hands for a, a potential momentum building situation for Infinite, which is been evading them thus far but again maintaining possession there's the cross passes can they break that bubble i don't know good feed there over to andy but andy having a back out of the bubble trying to send one in and that one's going to bounce off the shield now a bit of a race right here and under a lot of pressure there. Palace trying to get to it zach ultimately does gets a pass over to youtube youtube now moving in on the bubble but leverage with the steal with the disruption there and the seal level with the with the slap on it to get it further away but that one right in the hands of zach zach oh. trying to find youtube cutting into the goal and that one's going to bounce off the backboard and out by the goalie, and now maybe another opportunity here for Infinite, though, as they recover that one about around <laughs> mid. Oh, no, Matt coming away with that one. 
the, the grabs right now from Kangorillas. Uh, never mind the brawls, but the actual grabs are just getting out of mid-air on these discs. Uh, when Infinite's trying to pass the last few minutes, there's been two or three of them that have just been uh, amazing. And an underrated part, perhaps, an underappreciated part of Mad's game, because you know he has the reflexes as a goalie, but even in the midfield, being able to just really read those passing plays uh, from the right up close range, you know, treating every every position as if it were the goal right behind him. And he's excellent as a nice dive, ducking underneath his Strembitsky, finding the immediate pass to Mad, to Seal, and see what they do here, trying to deal some more damage. The seal is going to back that one out real quick there to Leverage. Leverage now moving in. 3.30 to go. Still a tie game. 3.35. Leverage trying to make some space here. Sending that one up to the ceiling there to Mad. Mad now moving in. Has a man under him. Under him. That is Palace. Palace trying to encroach on him. And uh, ultimately sending that one back to Leverage. Leverage now moving in over that uh, the nugget block going across there to Seelable. Seelable trying to move in. It says crosses it to Leverage. Leverage going for the shot. But that one's going to go uh, low and wide. And now handled by Andy. He's going to send that one away. Very nice defense and even better on the speedy stack. There's a shot. They need to follow it up with a boost, though, Ooh. and they do. So they re-grab it. It's going to be a two-on-one. There's the attempted stun, oh. but a big grab coming in from Bag. I do believe either or the defense, as I said, incredible. But again, it goes back to infinite for a moment, but not a moment too soon. It's Strembitsky, then it's YouTube. He sends it down the tube right through into the intercepted hands of Sealable Bag, who will go right down mid again. Yeah, Seelable sending that one all the way down in the infinite zone near their bubble. And uh, ultimately, it is going to be Shrem getting there first. So Shrem's going to send this one back to Seal. Seal back to Shrem. Coming in on the goal. He sends it in for the two. And we have, after six minutes of play, our third goal of the round here. And that's going to be Kang taking a two-point lead here with 2.20 to go. What a wild round this has been. Every which direction, the defense has been super nice. And from both teams with some of these grabs and, and saves... But yeah, that was a long scoring drought for both teams. And uh, with this rollout here from Infinite, that's one of their, their classic rollouts that they do like to do, but missing both players, unfortunately. Now, oh, cutting it off. A big grab, but missing the shot. Still has another chance at it. Zach W, going to spin it and win it. It's tied up less than two minutes. Look at that. It took six minutes for Kang to finally get that goal in. And then answering is Infinite in 17 seconds. So tied up. It is now, uh, let's see, what's the count? One minute, 40 seconds when you come out of the tubes. They're tied up four to four. Kang with the joust advantage. And yeah, wow, this is uh, this is really coming down here. Uh, uh, Infinite doing what they need to do to stay in it, but they have to score again uh, to take the lead. Because uh, yeah, tie's not going to win it. Uh, is, uh, obviously by the by the word tie. I mean, it's uh, kind of self-explanatory. I don't really need to be redundant like that. But Leverage now going to be taking this one over in that pocket. Going to back this one over to Mad Mad now. Under pressure there by Andy. He's going to send it back to Leverage as uh, Andy gets stunned out. On that station block, Leverage sending that one up to Shrem in that far side too. Shrem going to send this one in deep. Does have Sealable, who's under a lot of pressure, trying to get back to Mad. But it's going to be picked up by Andy. He's flinging it back into the Kang zone. And uh, the chain is away. They have an opportunity. Palace taking the shot. Oh, and it's just going wide with a minute left to go here. Ooh, big grab, though, from Palace. If he can retain that, just send it. But uh, the pileup's happening. There's really no a clear lane for passing. Cut off beautifully by Kang again with the brawls. And now just trying to go for the goal once more. It's exposed just briefly. A big pileup for Andy coming away with it somehow. Going to send that pass to Palace. 44 seconds remaining. Palace just trying to uh, clutch it up, hesitate there, waiting for that pass lane to open. And YouTube, he's going to be open for that pass, trying to forward it to his man. But it's going to be man with the big, big steal. Now, if he makes that one as well. Oh, my goodness. That would have been dangerous and would have been amazing. Loverage over for Strambitsky. And that could just secure it here. Six to four. Oh, the clutch grabs from Mad, the clutch goals from Strem. Uh, 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 wow. Six seconds. Six wow. seconds. Infinite has to answer here. I don't know how you do that against yeah. Kang. Kang's going to be coming out. Uh, playing. I don't know what Kang's going to be doing, but you know Infinite's going to be flying here. They go with the headbutt. They try to send it, but it doesn't get the bounce. Kang Gorillas are going to the finals to play Joker, ladies and gentlemen. And the battle continues relentlessly between those two teams. Oh, that match came right down to the wire. It was so close within that reach. And yeah, six seconds on the clock off that joust, technically possible, exceedingly rare, however. And just King Gorillas, the shutout uh, on this sweep, three and O. Oh. What a strong showing from both teams. King Gorilla is able to take the victory over Infinite with the three-game sweep. The three out of five required to win this series. And 
incredibly i use incredible so much but there's only so many words to describe kangorillas and they are nothing short of incredible on defense and offense we saw their boost come in out of position stopping this bubble offense from infinite infinite able to tie it up at two minutes it was back and forth there were three minutes where it was scoreless but at a minute left infinite would miss a three to take the lead and then with 30 seconds left, Strem with the assist from Loveridge to take the lead to win it. So really nothing more to say, but great performance from both teams. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, just uh, Kangaroos came to play, no doubt, and just cohesive on the team effort. It was, as you mentioned, after round one, uh, for that matter, the, the assist game as exactly as precise as it needed to be infinite was playing some uh mighty fine defense don't get me wrong their defense was very 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 good in a lot of those spurts especially to open up the match but unable to find the connections on the the pass itself uh, on the uh, passing itself so every time they had a chance it was just not not going through unfortunately despite all their defensive efforts which has definitely carried them to some great success over recent weeks uh notably in these big matches but kangaroos they're just they're they're determined to come back in this comeback season of sorts after, you know, winning a championships uh, in in uh, ESL season three about a year ago. Uh, they didn't manage to complete it really in the in the preseason, uh, as I mentioned. A disappointment in the sense that when you're a winner, when you're a champion, anything less than the best is always going to be worse than expected, right? That's the that's a problem. So Kangos finished fifth in preseason. Uh, they hunkered down, they buckled down, they got it, the, the meta, the 4v4 meta straight, their team play, they straightened it out, and they've just been absolutely dominant, and that's why we saw the identical records uh, coming in from Joker and Kang in the regular season, each only taking three losses, and hence the finals uh, situation we have now with both of them facing off, almost as if it was destined to be, it's just, <laughs> I mentioned this over and over, uh, Joker really is kind of the Joker to Kang's Batman, in a sense. They just do this over and over, over the course of multiple seasons, and and uh, it's been so fun to watch. Well, just real quick, before we, we, we completely shift gears, I really wanted to point out uh, that uh, the, the saves on the board, look at the saves, both teams, every single player on both teams pulling out saves here. Leverage, the only player in the game with only one, everybody else with at least two there. You got six to YouTube, which is substantial. Five there to Mad, which is substantial, especially when you consider the teams are playing, uh, they're, they're both up against. So that was a, a big, I mean, we're, we mentioned the defenses of both teams there. I mean, that was absolutely unreal uh, how many saves we saw there. Uh, but uh, on another point, uh, on kind of a tangent here, uh, excuse me, if you are in the, uh, uh, what do they call it, the venues, uh, watching this on your uh, Oculus Quest. Right now, you can open up the uh, the store on your Quest in the venue there as you're sitting there. Go ahead, search up Echo VR if you have not already. Give that a download. It's currently in the beta, but when it releases, it will still be free. So you're, this is not just a trial. This is not just a beta. You're getting basically the full game, and you're going to keep the full game once it releases. And if you are enjoying what you're seeing now, boy, oh, boy, do you have a treat waiting for you when you pop that headset on and pop into the arena for the first time. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely go check that out if you haven't yet. Uh, but wow, what a game between these two teams. And wow, I cannot wait for this uh, final series. Man, ain't nothing better than that, Sir Dimwi. Uh, thanks you again to our sponsors as well. Pro 2 VR, VR cover, fixed gaming, rebuff, reality. Contributing to that $1,000 prize pool between the two regions. And of course, the pride at stake for these teams. The glory, the name, the jerseys, the, the badges as well in game provided by Ready at Dawn. We, uh, we thank them for that. Providing uh, exclusive badges to not only competitors in VRML if you compete, uh, but also unique ones for the winners of this season. So a lot of cool things on the line as the Quest version of Echo VR, of Echo Arena, continue to blow up as a community continues to blow up. And as uh, us casters continue to blow up a little bit through these matches and all these exciting plays. But it has been just a day that has left us really just impressed, uh, but not surprised because... You know, it's been three months of this, three plus months of this now, and it, it's, I, I feel like we're almost spoiled in a, in a sense that we, we can come into these ma uh, matches here, especially with, uh, in going to the finals again with teams like Kangorillas and Joker and with Infinite and 
uh, instinct and what have like all these these top teams who are just so consistently great that uh, yeah, it's it's a pleasure. Gotta say. Now, yeah, it absolutely is. It's it's uh, it's a uh, it's not just a pleasure. It's a uh, it's uh, I feel uh, fortunate um, to to be here casting these games. Yeah, especially over these last few weeks, how, how great the games have been. It's been unreal uh, how good the games have been lately. And uh, just a note here on the finals when the upper bracket finals start. So, trying to organize it amongst the teams themselves. The again, there was about an uh, hour or so buffer given. Now, just in case these matches went the full five rounds, which lasts an hour and things like that. But since this did conclude a little bit earlier, uh, teams were pinged you know, be beforehand uh, earlier in the week as well. Uh, made aware, too, that times were subject to change for the, the final upper bracket finals, just dependent on how these lower bracket best of fives went. So trying to communicate it at the moment. It seems like there may be a few issues, potentially uh, uh, tech issues at play. So we're trying to figure that out uh, on one side of things but i can tell you it'll be soon sooner sooner than later we'll have our finals for you to figure that situation out now on a, another note for again those joining us in oculus venues uh what an awesome thing that, uh, that's been uh, I'm, I'm still super jealous that uh, uh, don't get me wrong i love the fact that i'm uh, in here casting these uh, great matches but just the fact that i haven't been able to really pop in there and, and kind of enjoy the whole uh, community factor inside the oculus venues but for those joining us there as well uh and new players who might not be super familiar with echo or the league or the community or any of the above uh what you really want to do and i know i'm speaking a little bit biased here but you know vrml okay it's community ran league fueled on the passion of our crew here and uh join up just, just join up it doesn't matter your experience level if you like echo if you're interested in echo arena which is to say one of the only my opinions sports you can really play uh in modern day at the moment like you can it's it's a sport it's a through and through sport you can play in the comfort of your home get on uh teams get all that same satisfaction from playing uh real life you know traditional sports and uh yeah if you want to get into the league play because of the MMR ranking system you're not going to be paired up against your the master tier teams. You won't be facing off against your infinites and your king gorillas, as fearsome as they are, for sure. I mean, you'll you'll come on in with all these new teams, and you'll be facing off uh, against each other, and kind of climbing up this ladder, you know, from bronze, silver, gold to master uh, through your Echo career. But it's it's low low pressure in that sense. You basically get what you put into the league, whether or not you're a casual player, hardcore player, or somewhere in between. You can do whatever you want. Put in what you want, and you'll get uh, that much right back out of it. Now, beyond that, uh, just, just a long list of uh, people to thank, and we'll get to some of that later, of course. But uh, it's been, you know, it's it's been a very fun and worthwhile effort. Um, appreciative too to Oculus for the opportunity there to uh, stream this on venues. I know that's been an exciting thing for the community and just uh, something that we always look forward to having those gatherings, even uh, at this point in time where it's uh, a virtual gathering. It's, it, it, it has that factor that we, uh, we love and talk about, especially in the pre-show earlier from uh, Europe and during that third place match where we were just talking about the community interaction and engagement from all the longtime players. Uh, most of us here, we've known each other for years now. We've known each other for one, two, three three years going on and uh that's why when it comes to the, the competition and when it comes to any kind of community events you just you know you, you see us all engaged and involved like that that rookie cup that was uh, put together by uh hasco skinny and, and ducky a couple weeks ago highly successful we had uh, including the coaches and and substitutes we had us uh, around 500 participants and uh, again about 300 or so of those, 300 plus, I think, were, were new players from that Quest version all coming Over in. Over 400 were new players. 400. So there you go. But point point being, with this massive influx of new players coming in from the Quest, you still had these longtime community members. You had 51 uh, coaches, I do believe, uh, signing up to help coach. So even these players who have been around for a long time, you know, they're not... They're not beyond helping the new the new talent, the new uh, blood here in Echo Arena. We see them all over the lobbies and in, in boot camps and uh, the pickup nights, all these different efforts, just helping uh, the new players get along. And, and 
boy, have they come along fast. Just really, uh, really learning the name of the game and how to play it. It's, it's a big difference. It's a big juxtaposition to what it used to be. Even just uh, months ago, where new players come in and it takes a long time sometimes to get that stride and to feel the rhythm of Echo Arena, but then you sell that Rookie Cup. There were some really impressive plays coming out, and, and meta style at that. They were prioritizing passing. You had some amazing goalkeepers displaying their skills. It was, it was great to watch. Well, you know what I find really interesting? This will kind of give you an idea as to how many people are new to the game currently compared to how many excuse me, we had prior to the Quest release. Uh, so we're, we're noticing a lot of these these uh, new players that are picking up uh, a lot of the, the meta really early. You're, you're going, wow, I can't believe they're catching it other, that early. Those are the only those are only the players you're seeing. There's actually a, a bunch more out there that aren't, they're just not getting exposed to that higher level of play because there's just so many people that there aren't enough uh, veteran players around to actually incidentally make contact with those newer players. Uh, so th just to show you how many new people there are in the game there there are more people more rookie players that aren't picking up on those things uh than there are that are and we see so many of them that are mm -hmm. picking up on it and it just tells you just, just that's just how much bigger we have gotten uh since that quest release it's, it's really unreal uh you just don't see you know the the, the same names uh as often as you used to anymore So, ladies and gentlemen, we're uh, getting ready to start off here mighty shortly. It looks like we have have the players up and ready. They got their their situation settled. So we're going to be moving on to the grand or the finals, perhaps grand finals, if we're uh, if we're so lucky. Momentarily, I'm uh, probably eyeing about the top of the hour. So, ideally, if everything is in fact set. <laughs> We got about six minutes or so. We're going to get everyone filed into the match and, uh, yeah, get started very, very soon. So do stay tuned. Banana.
All right, hey guys, uh, just to check in real quick, give you an update on the situation for those watching over Facebook Live, Oculus Venues, or Twitch. At the moment, we're just trying to switch up the servers a bit here. Got uh, something something funky happened there, so we're just trying to organize that, but worry not. We'll have the matches for you soon. These upper brackets, the finals, the championships, uh, they're going to be crowned to this one of these North American teams mighty soon, so couple extra minutes and we'll be back on the way with the rest of your stream for the day.
All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. Apologies for the delays there as we got ourselves situated for the finals. North American finals. Uh, excited to say that we're about to be at play here with uh, just two teams at the, the top of their games, the top of their kings, if you will, throughout the season. Really matching and mirroring each other over the course of it. A Joker just been ever dominant for multiple seasons. Kangarillas, same thing, dominant for multiple seasons. You don't need a reason why uh, these teams are here, but beyond the fact that if you just watch the first couple minutes of play for that matter, they'll prove it to you in a hot second. Just the kind of uh, teams that they are, which is to say, Joker, just incredibly unique, a mix of meta and non-meta, just depending on the situation, minute to minute. Uh, Definitely a lot of uh, that playing a part. Uh, for Kangorillas, just the fundamentals, the execution, the team play, name of their game. Now, the name of our game, the name of our team here in VRML. Well, I'm Palador, and joining me is Sir Dimwi with wit on cameras, and we have a uh, caption lumen there as well, uh, going to do some mid round analysis for us. So, uh, Sir Dimwi, what's going on? Yeah, I am. Uh, I am just. I'm very excited for this round. Although it does look like two players just dropped out. That's unfortunate. But yeah, I'm very excited to watch these two teams play. I mean, these 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 guys have histories that go back a while. And uh, what's 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 really awesome is we saw them play for the first time in a postseason uh, just earlier uh, uh, yesterday. Uh, just 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 yesterday. Uh, Kang uh, Kang losing to Joker uh, going into that the losers bracket there ultimately making their way back in. Uh, to the finals here against Joker. Joker undefeated in this uh, the the tournament series, uh, the the uh, the double elimination tournament series, and uh, yeah, uh, they did face off four times during the season. Kang uh, took three of those four games. Uh, they did all three of those in three. Uh, the one that Joker won, they did it in two. Uh, then of course Joker beating uh, Kang. I believe that was a, a three round game yesterday. I can't quite remember off the top of my head, uh, but yeah, it, it, either team can take this round, and this is gonna. I mean, we're talking. The two top teams in North America facing off in the finals here. You, you don't get a better setup than that. And uh, as they face off, as they get ready to face off, uh, yeah, you know, uh, the Titans are clashing here yeah. uh, in the arena. A absolutely. And for Joker, it was a, a sweep of King coming through. But that's been the case for Joker throughout the entirety of season one team, except for King. Uh, once more, uh, Kangaroos were the only team in the regular season to actually take rounds and take games off of team joker who otherwise just swept through the rest of the teams uh in more in more ways than one uh literal sweeps in the round context where it was just two and oh two and oh uh, they had this incredible ability to just absolutely dominate and and kangaroos were the only ones who could really contest that on multiple occasions uh, but they a joker that is they did get the better of kang yesterday sending them into that lower bracket and uh, hence the results there well, why we uh, saw kangorillas facing against infinite just a while ago and completing that in a sweep it's uh, as well for kangorillas against infinite so it's uh, gonna be a factor here just to see who comes out with more traction obviously a little bit of that energy perhaps lost there off of that win uh kangorillas had but then again we know if, if, i mean if this best of five series if this end up uh, ends up going to a grand final situation but because of Kango's winning in this finals. I mean, that's a lot of gameplay to burn. So at the same time, not necessarily a bad thing to get a little bit of a breather for these two teams as we are trying to still reorganize here and uh, figure out who's going where. It looks like for Joker, uh, Ryan was having some issues with internet. So at the moment, we're looking at a substitute, an alternate situation there. Skinny, a rostered member of Team Joker, uh, he's stepped up before. He's looking to step up again here in uh, this finals match. Uh, he, in fact, he stepped up eight times before in the regular season. Uh, they won every single game that they uh, they brought Skinny in for, and of course, uh, of course, he uh, stepped up uh, yesterday uh, for the final two minutes of that game against uh, was that Kang or Infinite? I don't recall. I think it was Infinite. Uh, I think it was Kang. I, I actually can't remember. Uh, but whichever one it was, he did step in there for the final two minutes, and uh, they won that series as well. Uh, so it was they, like they do always play. Uh, was it Infinite? Okay. Uh, so yeah, they do always play very well uh, with Skinny uh, on the active roster. So here we go for the finals coming out. Kong, Jay Walker, Dash, and Skinny for Joker and Sealable Bag, Leverage, Strombitsky, Mad for Kang. 
And immediately on that fling will just be Kang with a disc. Uh, not much to say about that one. It was an easy grab for Mad. Probably will get all day. But we're just getting started here and Kang coming off of that hot execution. But really good grab from Jay Walker. Just remember, I was talking about him as that shot almost goes through. As Kong does send it in for the first two. So all credit really to Jay Walker and those hands because that is what he does. He's just always right on point with those grabs. He knows where to be. It's really been one of the longest, longest uh, things, longest term things for Joker. I know that bothered us and bothered other teams too, whether it was uh, just uh, season two, three, what have you. Just the, the fact that Team Joker, they, they, they act like they're going to approach you aggressively in the midfield. They really body you up and make you panic, but they're not actually intending to go for the stuns. They're not intending to uh, do that. And uh, ooh, good grab from Strembitsky for the two points. Just to finish the thought real quick, though, they 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 bait out the the passes and then they cut it off with the intercepts. No, yeah, they're really good at doing that. And then Shrem, though, Shrem getting the first goal on the board there for Kangarilla is going to tie it up here against Joker. Minute and a half in uh, as Joker coming out with that joust advantage. They're going to be taken there by Dash. Dash under pressure very quickly there from Leverage, but he's going to get that one over to Kong Kong sending on one, that one through, looking for a, a, a couldn't actually see. Who his intended target was there, but it's going to turn over. But immediately turning back over to, to Joker here's Jay Walker getting that one. But then Loveridge with the reach, going to get the grab on that as Jay Walker was trying to send that one up to the ceiling there. And now Sealable with this one. Uh, Kang trying to make something happen here in the Joker zone. And saw some people pointing out the pass fakes. It's something that Kangaroos are very good at, especially Strembitsky. He loves the fakes, whether it's pass fakes, shot fakes, head fakes. Right now, making no mistakes. One more. There's Strem. It's score. Sealable bag assisting. See, look at that. Look what they did there. That that one extra pass is uh, the player that was sealable bag under the goal. You had both the defender and the goalie bite on that, thinking sealable was going to take a shot because in 80% and 90% of the situations you see uh, in competitive games, the shooter is going to take a shot from there. Uh, but no, sealable is going to send it for one more pass, and they're going to get that one in for the two. And now Kang with the lead here in round one. And over to Kung on this rollout for the two. Indeed, a uh, Jay Walker with that disc. One of the things that uh, I'm interested in seeing in this against uh, Infinite yesterday as well is uh, how Joker decides to play this one. If they're going to go for that slower play, which we saw yesterday, which is they're capable of it. It's not something they, they go to all the time, but they were definitely pulling it out an awful lot yesterday. Uh, they shot barely off, but will be rebounded, dunked on in. Mad, uh, the indirect assist of sorts off of Sealable's shot, but good rebound. Yeah, I mean, that's a good send in there from Sealable. Uh, it was it was just off the mark, but they get that chain down there very, very quickly. Mad, one of those, uh, one of the, the members of that chain, he gets a grab on that disc, puts it in for the two. And now Kang's up by four here as Joker's going to take this one uh, on the jealous advantage. Now handled by Dash up on the ceiling. Dash going to send this one to that near side wall there to Jay Walker. Jay Walker crossing that one over to Kong Kong. Now moving on on that far side tube, the right tube from the right tube from the perspective of Joker. It's Kong now going to back that one up for that back pass over to Dash. Dash now going to cross this one over to Jay Walker. Jay Walker has Skinny up on the ceiling there, rel relatively uncontested, but he has a lot of room to walk, so he's going to walk. Ultimately sending that one to Skinny, but the pass is off the mark, but it's going to be handled now by Kong. Kong going to back this one away and send this one back for the reset there to Dash. And Dash, the back liner. Always going to be there reliably there for the resets as he works out at the floor. I mentioned his uh, capability of being that floor general directing traffic, telling people where to go, where to be, and they're just going to go for the two-point play on the dunk. It's Kung around the back on that nice attack, and they bring it back within two points now. Still six minutes remaining in this first round of the finals of North America. See, and that's that, uh, that's that, that, the, the dash effect there, that calm patient collective passing there from joker to get that one in they don't force it they look for their good lanes they find those good lanes and they get it in for the two and they cut that king bleed down to two and there was mad you see just waiting for the defender to approach so they can nullify him a little bit and open up some lanes for kang to make these passing plays down the floor and that's exactly what they do stram trying to get a little bit fancy with the dancing and it will result instead in a deep shot will be slightly off the left side of the backboard. Jay Walker and Strem contesting each other, nullifying each other. There's Kung right undercover, uh, launching it to the other side. And a quick sling. Is that Jay? Has to be, and it was, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so uh, just again, this back and forth action coming through. Big pileups forming, didn't we? Oh, yeah, no. That, and that was Jay swing. Oh. But oh, what the, the steal there from Sealable Bag. 
to stop that one, but Kong is on the backfield there, not going to let that one go through, slowing this one down for his team. 4.52 to go here in round one. 6-4 to four advantage to Kangarillas. Joker in possession right now. Dash working that back line, pushing uh, around the blocks here, trying to pull the defense out. And uh, you see Leverage uh, kind of feigning the pressure there, but doesn't want to overcommit. He does commit, though, ultimately. So Dash gets that pass over to Jay Walker. Jay Walker now going to send this far side there. Uh, Looks like Kong. Kong takes that shot. 10 meters out from the steep angle. 18 meters a second. Good for the three. And Joker now is a one-point lead. And to the surprise of no one, that Joker, that's the name of their game. They'll take those threes off. They are very precise with it. They talk about things that have frustrated teams over the course of my team even back in the day. The thing is, the, the three-point shots of Joker, such a huge a factor for sure, because they can make it from so many different angles. That they take you off guard. Does that matter? They're, they're willing. They're willing to uh, shoot shots on goalies with regularity at times, just taking them off guard. And whereas most teams, you'd say, oh, that's a bad shot. That doesn't work. Joker, somehow, they, they do make it work a lot of the time. It, it's frustrating, but it's, it's, it's just a testament to their ability and uh, why they're just they, they're the team that they are. You know, double-edged sword, for better or worse, they're the team that they are. That's why they're first in the league and in the world, for that matter. Absolutely, and they did, go to, they did a good job of, of uh, disrupting that Kang attempt there on the bubble, as now Joker in possession of it all the way down. They very quickly, they didn't even play through mid. They just sent it in and are now set up in the offensive zone here. So now that one's going to be sent down the dash. Dash going across there to Kong. Jaywalker, Ooh. Jaywalker sending that one in under pressure and on the goalie. Good for a two. And now Team Joker with a three-point lead here off the goal there from Jay. So right back at him. Was a point there where Kangaroo is uh, six to, to zero, I believe, right to open it up, but uh, just yeah, the, the seems like Team Joker not being fatigued or not being, I guess, in that in that wrong headspace because it's easy to uh, get that way. Just given the situation, again, I know they're coming in unexpectedly with Skinny uh, as a as a sub, which again, not, not a knock on him whatsoever. It's just more so you come into the game prepared to play with a certain. Uh, a certain roster, a certain core, and then suddenly the game plan changes uh, when you weren't expecting it. So the fact that Joker's been able to kind of keep it cool as, oh, look at Strembitsky. He keeps it really cool in that play. Uh, didn't throw it away, just made sure he had the little inch there of space to deny the grabs and then found the bottom of the goal. That was a nice hit. Yeah, that was, a, that was very Joker-esque there of Strem as, uh, as he's yeah. approaching that nest. Uh, he, he opts for that juke. To, to, he just needs, to, as you mentioned, that extra second there to get that shot off. So, and that's what that juke provides him there as he knew that player was was uh, coming up on, on his uh, feet there very, very quickly. Uh, and that gives him the time and space. He gets it in on the goalie. A great shot there. And now Kang is back within one here two minutes ago. And they do uh, force that turnover off the Joker joust. And now going to turn it around here. Oh, shot there from Shrem, oh, wow. but Jay Walker's not going to let that one happen. Oh, you don't say. Jay Walker getting a midfield interception? No way. Yes, he did. He <laughs> always does. And Kung backs it out, uh, or tries to shoot it out, I should say, uh, just in the general direction. And, oh, almost in there, Skinny. Uh, in the area, Kung as well, passing it off to Skinny. Maybe right back to Kung. No, instead it's Jay. He had two options, and he found the right one. There's two points. I mean, look at that. They were they were so close together. Any other team you would call clumped, but they were not clumped. Those were just very – that was just a very small triangle. And you see it go uh, uh, Kong to Skinny, Skinny to Jay Walker, and Jay Walker into the goal. Beautiful uh, beautiful goal there, and uh, Kong definitely deserving of an assist on that one as now it's going to be handled by Matt for Kang. Kang currently down by three with a minute five to go here as that one's going to get forwarded up to, to Shrem there in that far side tube, left side tube. If you're Kang Gorillas – and now Shrem, uh, excuse me, Shrem going over to Leverage. Leverage going back up to Mad here. Mad now with a lot of room to work with. Going to send this one up to sealable bag, but it's going to take that goofy bounce off the post. Jay Walker is going to come away with that one and send it back towards mid. But Shrem is there to get the grab on it, and Kang is back right in possession. For how long, though, is a question of the pass. The disc just bouncing right back towards their hands as Kong will get the grab. The goal just exposed enough for a beautiful alley-oop. And dropping it in for the 13th point, it was skinny. They're up now, uh, just enough perhaps to find some comfort and and just find that uh, that good start that they wanted. Again, despite the unexpected roster change late, uh, just paving the way for a victory here for Joker. You know what happened on that last drive? That one started with the Joker joust. They turned over to Kang, and Kang was not able to punish that turnover. And then Joker re forced the turnover back and then punished uh, Kang for the turnover. So now uh, Joker forcing another turnover oh. there, almost punishing on that one. 
but it will be round one, two team Joker, 13 to eight over the Kangorillas as we go into this intermission here. Yeah, we're gonna get it over to Caption in just a, a second. Give him time to collect and Caption, are you there? Yeah, I mean, uh, what a round that was. I mean, Joker really uh, just bringing it back near the end. I mean, as soon as Kong made that three pointer, it almost seemed like a just something lit up because they went on a complete run. I mean, only let one more goal in after that three pointer happened and uh, started building up that score really well. It was a really great three pointer. We just uh, just seen briefly there on the replay. I mean, he had a couple of people guarding that goal, but still found that little slot between the defense to get that in. But this is also not too much of the Joker we keep talking about and are used to seeing play. They're almost playing kind of Kango-esque. I mean, a lot of really great passing going on for them, and it's taken a long way from them. I mean, a really, really well-played game coming from him, and a really high scoring, but on the other end as well, I mean, Kangarella is still really out there. I mean, their defense has been really good for the most part. They're boosting, especially in the beginning of the game, just that first goal, I believe it was the first goal you've seen with Strambitsky, or the second goal, sorry, um, where they boosted down as soon as Joker got the disc, there was no time to call red, there was no time to give any calls, he just stole it and put it right in the goal to tie that game up, so it, it was a really, really well-played game for both teams, and it's gonna, I might go the distance here, I mean, it's really back and forth, so we'll see what's gonna be going on in the second round. Absolutely, and I'm seeing again Twitch chat popping off. I've got, I know Oculus venues been popping off. The numbers across the board for Echo VR and for Quest popping off as they pop off for this joust, sir. Dimwi again. I, I'm I'm thoroughly entertained. I'm thoroughly intrigued by uh, what we're gonna see here because, based off of just the the European finals match a couple hours ago, a few hours ago. Uh, I'm expecting great things to continue on here in North America as man launches off, but look at the save from Kong. Yeah, Kong, uh, just not letting that one happen right in front of the goal there. That was a beautiful save from Kong, but Kangorillas are still in uh, in possession here. As, uh, you know, it's funny is I used to believe, uh, before I actually knew what was what, I used to call Joker Kongorillas because they played as <laughs> Kongorillas in the Discord Cup, and I didn't know the difference. Uh, so, yeah, I used to think uh, Joker was Kongorillas, and I didn't know who Kang was. But now, uh, Kang, this one getting sent into the Kang zone by Joker. And uh, Joker is going to retain that one. Kong trying to find skinning on the post there, but that one's going to be just off. And now Strem oh, oh, the steal there from Kong. Wow. Kong playing both sides of the arena here, making the big stop, sending it in, and then getting his own dump into the bubble there. And he's going to put that one in for the two. And that's our first goal of round two here to Team Joker. Now, on one hand, you would have thought that, hey, that's uh, that had to be Jay. But that is to say, all of these Joker players, that is once more their game plan and why they frustrate teams because they they approach in these really close quarter situations where you think they're gonna punch you they're gonna brawl but no they're, what they're actually just doing is uh putting themselves in position and with their hands to get those grabs on and force the pass so that's what we really got to watch out for against joker kangorillas they're just watching out here to go for a goal the goal diving out goalie diving out and diving in now as three take its place mad gets the two it's tied and uh hearing maybe a timeout about to happen someone perhaps has crashed yeah it looks like jay walker dropped out of the game there right as Con uh, kang was coming in on the bubble and uh, they do get that goal there it is tied up at 8 10 as we get the stop here and uh yeah jay walker uh, did rejoin very quickly there uh but we have already reset and it uh, looks like they reset the clock there to excuse me 8 8 8 15 oh my goodness my body is uh, revolt, uh, re uh revolting <laughs> against me uh but yeah the two to two here tied up 8 15 to go uh, here in round two, yeah, that's all. That's after that uh, that that last goal there we saw from Kang to tie it up here in well, the we'll, second round. I will shout out as well on the note uh, of stats and restarts there. Uh, many many thanks to Franz from Team Ignite, one of the veteran teams of this league, been there since the very early days, longest established uh, roster at this point. I do believe they've just been around forever and constantly uh, right up there near the, at the top tier of competition. Uh, in the gold division and master league here for season one and yeah they came through with the, the stats the uh, stats overlay to retain the stats between rounds uh, despite any kinds of timeouts restarts what have you so glad to have that at the play at, at, uh, thanks to friends thanks to ignite bts putting in some work as well so much for subtlety uh, helping collaborate with that to get it all working here for finals so much appreciation to ignite and as well as the ignite bot uh, itself which is a great tool for stat uh, collecting and displaying yeah and speaking of great tools uh, the quest the the oculus quest if you're over there watching this on venues and you you're on the quest right now you can open up the uh the oculus quest store right there in the venue 
and uh, search up Echo VR. If you like what you're seeing, boy, oh boy, are you in for a surprise? Are you in for a show? Are you in for an experience? <laughs> oh, yeah. Echo Arena is the real. Echo VR is the real deal. It's uh, currently an open beta. It will remain fee- free once it releases. So if you download it now, you have it forever. Go check it out right now. Well, a- actually, after this game. Absolutely. And this game, uh, Joker and Kane. I think we're about ready to go. So there it is. The launch out there is eight, uh, 18 on the clock. It's tied up. Of uh, Winning the first round was Team Joker in this best of five scenario. Uh, once more because Joker went undefeated yesterday as, oh, nice steal from Loveridge. Uh, Kangarillas have to win two best of fives in order to claim a title, a championship uh, win. So they need to act fast. They need to act uh, steady, however. And look at that short Ooh. pass. And steady it was. Seable bag bouncing around, happy with the assist from Strem. Yeah, that was a great little. Uh, that was a. That was just a touch. There. That was a slap. That was a. Uh, I don't know if we could call that a one timer because of the way his arm was extended outward. It wasn't really kind of a slap shot style slap, but uh, yeah, that was a great uh, little one touch there from Seable yeah. to pop that one in for the two, and Kang's now got a two point lead here. And as I, I mentioned earlier as well, I feel spoiled by the gameplay sometimes, but that is a, exactly that a Kang special, that, as I saw a chat mention, because they are just, it's one of their bread and butter plays. A thing that, that's so dangerous about those passes, aside of the fact that they're super accurate, uh, is just the fact that when the pass connects, it's right directly in front of the goal, so there's not even time for goalies to, to make saves on those, because the moment that the goalie turns their head, boom, it is already in the goal. So extremely good moves from Kangos. They're trying to make a move on the goal, but floating back out to the pocket up top here by the tunnel as Matt just tries to get it through the defense of Skinny to the pass down low here uh, from Sealable. So we'll be Kang on the uh, the offensive attack here, although that one's going a little bit wild. Matt comes away with it, but he's under pressure there by Kong. Kong making a case for MVP of the game here, MVP of the series, as now Jaywalker is going to pick that one up in the bubble. So a turnover here in the Joker's zone, although that clear out is going to hit the lip of the tube and bounce right back in, but Dash is there to get the grab on it. Dash is going to send this one in deep. And now uh, it looks like the Kang stack was already back there ready and waiting for that clear in. Uh, so it looks like the team's uh, split up a little bit. You got that aggressive chain out in front for Joker. And uh, the, the passing here, look at the way they pass through around those. Oh, my goodness. That one was good. very, very close there. Just wide. But uh, the way Kang moved through mid there, you saw Joker set up with that chain. So Kang started those precision, those short, quick precision passes all around those objects. Now oh, shot here. Geez. Ooh, that one also close. So two long shots here in this game in the last 30 seconds. Wow, very close. But neither of them going in. If nothing else, Joker is a bold, bold team. Yes, uh, as Caption had mentioned, Browns. Uh, they're playing a, a bit more Kang style. They're trying to prioritize those passes. That the deep shot is taken. But they'll still, Joker will still do what they do. There's the t- shot just oh, off. Oh, oh. I thought it was in. You know what? Rebounded just the same. It will be. So no harm done. Jay Walker. Who else? He's got to be in the right place for the interception, even on his own teammates in that case because of the miss. But he's just, he knows where to be. All right, Kong, I know you're watching this right now, buddy. I know you're watching, not right now, obviously. You're watching the VOD. I am officially revoking your MVP there and handing it over to Jay. Of course, I'm joking. Now, this one's going to be handled by uh, Kang. Currently tied up, 520 to go here in round two of this best of five series. Uh, Kang, uh, that one getting sent over there to Leverage on that near side wall. Leverage sending this one through that right side tube up to Strem. Strem has the one on one, a two on one. He sends that one in with Dash with the grab, Dash with the hands, and Strem with a stun on Dash out of spite in the backfield there. As uh, now this one's going to get back up to leverage sending it in here for Kang. I'm surprised that uh, Strem had taken that shot because normally Kang Gorillas, you'll see 90%, 95% even of their shots. They're, they're, they're the smart ones. They're the guaranteed goals. Uh, that one was a very, very bold shot uh, to take with being tied up here uh, versus just going for that, that usual Kang cross passing. So there it is. Just readjusting, looking for it. There's a two-man game. Strem Bitsky over to leverage. Leverage trying for the goal, but couldn't drop it. So dropping down to the floor and getting stunned some more. It's Strem Bitsky, but back liner right down the middle. It's mad. Mad in the middle. Going for the roll up on the floor here as the positioning from Kang all up uh, in this triangle formation. They're going to back it to the side here. Leverage up high and Kang goes. Just well positioned as always. The slow play now maybe about to unfold. Yeah, they've got to slow it down here. It's, oh, that good. That oh, cross yeah. pass. Sealable to leverage. Leverage cutting in from the post. He's able to pop that one in for the two. Kang taking a two point lead here in round two with four minutes to go. And uh, yeah, no, I was about to comment that uh, they needed to slow it down and they did. Uh, it's because the, their last two attempts 
Both uncharacteristic misses there. The, the one from Strem that got grabbed by Dash, and then uh, I believe it was a cop pass attempt that got broken up. Uh, or no, it was a, yeah, it was a cop pass that uh, that ultimately was a dinger. Uh, very uncharacteristic there of Kang to miss those uh, those two uh, those two instances. As that one from Strem was basically a two on one that Strem just took as a one on one. And uh, yeah, but they slow it down. They collect themselves to get back to it, and they get that one in for the two and three and a half to go here. It's six to four, to Kang. And sealable. Right as he gets stunned, still finds that attempted cross pass a little bit too strong on that one. So Dash playing the back line will send it the other way. But Loveridge and Seal are connected there. Mentioned their stacking play is always something a huge for Kang. Going in for that attempted cross, but just above the reach. So once more, uncharacteristic. But of course, Joker, a very, very bothersome, aggressive defense against many teams. So trying to dodge through a man looking for it. But again, one of those somewhat uncharacteristic things I'm seeing from Kang Gorillas. Uh, it's interesting to watch as Kung does go for that pass, and now oh, instead, oh, oh. it's Joker going for that Kang Gorillas-esque play. So almost a reversal of personalities I'm seeing with these uh, super aggressive low percentage moves from Kang Gorillas that I'm not used to seeing, and Joker's the one with the fundamentals there on that one. That, that was also just a great shot. Kang had that play read. They saw the pass. The goalie read it the whole way out. Goalie comes up to challenge Jay. But Jay is able to hook that one around the body of the goalie to tie it up here in round two. 2.30 to go. Tied up 6-6. Six six. Kang, Joker. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this, is, uh, this, is, uh, this is a tight game here. Oh, that read there. Oh. Jay Walker taking the shot. But, ooh, that one's going to just ding off. But Jay Walker getting that one back only for a moment. Shrem's coming away with that one, gonna send it away. Uh, actually, up to Skillable, who's gonna back pass it. You see how aggressive that midfield defense, though, is from Joker. Uh, how long did it stick on that orange side of the floor? Forever, it felt like. At the moment, though, three Kangos coming up against four Jokers. Will they get the score? They Ooh. will. It's eight to six now off of Strembitsky's play. Mad the dish. Strem, uh, Strem reminded me of uh, some other players that love that spot there. Strem coming in straight down on the goal. You know what? That's a Zach goal. That Strem Bitsy channeling his Zach W there for that one. Zach, I see you in the chat, buddy. I'm calling you out. He just copied you, man. Uh, you got to patent that one and char start charging for that. <laughs> a lot of unique... Uniquely named uh, goals and styles of play in, indeed in this game established by the community over the last few years. One of the, again, fun parts of uh, this community, just kind of the, the personal uh, ties you have to some of these plays, some of these uh, shots. Uh, there's Dash, he's looking for a shot, passing it to Kung, that is. Kung's gonna maneuver around, very nice delivery, patiently gets it into the goal on Mad, which is no small feat. So with one minute remaining here in this second round, it's tied up. Yeah, that was a great move there by Kong. He comes in on the top side of the shield, swoops down low, gets away from that defender long enough to get that shot away. And yeah, we're tied up 50 seconds to go. Kang Gorillas are on the jealous advantage here, taken by Mad. Mad now on the ceiling. And you can see this is that rollout from Kang where they all come out inverted there. I love this rollout. I, I, it's something I, I always wanted to try with my own team where we're never able to uh, to actually uh, to, to, to do anything like this uh, for, for other various reasons. But Strem now moving in, walking in all the way. Coming in, two on one, on two. And he brings it in for the two. And Kang is going to take a two-point lead here with 30 seconds to go in round two. No idea where that one was going. I knew the fakes were coming. I just didn't know when it would end. And it ended in what was a very, very crucial goal for Kangos to keep themselves alive and well. And that they are. Uh, we'll see on this fast, fast rollout. It's going to have to be from a Joker. They're going to dish it deep into the back line. Seconds winding down. Five left. So with that intercept there from Loveridge, that should do it. Indeed, it will. So uh, with that said, it's 10 to 8. Round 2 going in the favor of Kangorillas. And these teams, as I said, Many, many times. Destined to do it forever, it feels like. Yeah, and, and both these teams, I mean, like I said, uh, both just playing such close games. There's no way you can tell on a game-to-game -game basis who's going to be able to win. I mean, we could very well see this one going all the way to five games and then maybe even another series. I mean, we'll have no idea until the end. But, I mean, at the beginning of that game, the one play I really, really wanted to highlight because I think there was a lot more to it than uh, what was initially seen was uh, Kung's goal. I believe it was one of the first goals of the game. I mean, he came up at the beginning. He got a save. Uh, then it was recouped up over by Kangarellas. They brought it back to the bubble. He got a stun off right before a really dangerous shot could have went off. Uh, cleared it, got the boost down, and then scored it on the other end. So uh, he pretty much did every position you could probably do. He played goalie, he played midfielder, and then he played striker. So, I mean, it was just such a fantastic goal coming out from, from him. And 
just like you were saying throughout this the stream uh the king Rails came away with the win but very uncharacteristic plays coming from them there's a lot of just kind of suffocating the bubble i mean generally you'll see them at least have a back pass if not two but they're just getting forced into this bubble and it's so suffocated that they're just not able to get a pass off and have to go for these kind of steezy plays and uh joker is really doing a really good job defending them yeah without a doubt uh it's 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 very impressive and Again, uh, most teams, I say, stick to your game plan, and it applies to Kango, it applies to Joker too, but at the same time, we've seen some new things, or at least some less than usual things coming in from both these uh, teams over the last couple days. You know, Joker trying to incorporate more and more of that play and going for a bit less steez. They still pull, uh, pull that out, you know, now and then. Uh, throughout the, the games we've saw, seen it a few times but on the whole it's it's very much a differently paced joker than we're normally used to seeing and kang also acting a bit faster uh than we're used to seeing some of that just due to joker's pressure but when it comes to the results i mean the round win went to kang so even though joker did look to be having kang in a slight disarray just a kind of a zone where they're not normally quite as comfortable playing uh, they still did manage to, manage to uh, secure the victory off of what was uh, ultimately that a game winner there towards the last 30 seconds or so from Strembitsky off of a multitude of fakes in a very much Strem style, which you got to do against goalies, especially teams like Joker, who has good goalies top to bottom on the roster. Yeah, they absolutely do. I mean, and, and uh, we saw it actually in uh, that that game, that last game, particularly for Kang. Uh, in a, actually, a couple games now where every single player on Kang has come away with saves. I'm pretty sure we've seen the same thing from Joker in a few games as well. Currently, a few players haven't picked up saves yet, but still a lot of game to go as we are tied up in this series. We're in round three. Currently, one round apiece to Kang and Joker. And uh, yeah, starting here this round three, it's going to be won ultimately by Kang, and they're going to start moving this one forward. That was a very nice controlled rollout on that neutral joust from Kang Gorillas. So very patient and putting the right touch on those passes uh, to precision. So all those small things just lead to Kang being what they are. Uh, trying to maybe rebound off of that last round. They did win, of course, but maybe just slow it down a little more and now find a little more of that comfort zone that they're used to sitting in in most of these matches. Yeah, you know, I'm trying not to sing again, but when somebody says all the small things, all I can think is Blink-182, but it's going to be Seal sending this one back oh. to Mad. <laughs> all you can think of is, is very old <laughs> references, didn't we? Of course. You know what? Uh, I, I yeah, love it. You know, I have going back to like, eh, that's probably 20 years old now. Actually, yeah, I love her job. <laughs> oh, oh, the stun. Look at the read by Dash. He's going to stun out Sealable. Not going to let Sealable even attempt that shot and going to turn this one around now. Sealable is going to recover that one off that clear out. But yeah, wow, what a stop there by Dash. Absolutely. So up high to Kung's hands. But Dash uh, doing a very good thing there. As good of a goalie as he is, as, as a elite as a goalie he is, knowing when to dive out on those lanes is crucial to just maintaining great accuracy. Now going there for the pass, not quite accurate enough. A man going for the goalie, trying to stuff it, uh, but sealable bag over on the wedge here, just trying to work it past Dash, uh, finding himself out of the goal. But that's okay because again, the I mean, Kung Skinny, both excellent goalies. Will they be able to defend this from Mad playing out? And look at the, again the short range pass off for the shot every time Kang tries to go for those close as oh. possible to the goal. There's no time Watch to this save replay. it. Watch this replay. Watch how Sealable sneaks up on the goal there. The goalie's back is turned. Sealable doesn't, he doesn't stun the guy. He doesn't make a noise. He just sneaks in up behind him there and gets that. Look at that right. Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. Sealable bag. Ah, oh, bro. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely enjoying that replay for very good reason. It's uh, the excellence of execution that you're used to seeing. Joker, however, doing some excellent executing of their own. Uh, the tied up here on the series again in the finals. A slap shot! Oh my! Oh. What a hit coming through from Jay Walker. Classic Jay. You know, we went almost two minutes. We keep seeing this. We went almost two minutes without a goal. And then Ken gets a two. Joker only takes 21 seconds to score three to retake to, to, to take the lead here in round three. That was a that was a great goal there by Jay Walker. Now will be Kang Gorillas uh, with that joust advantage. Mad playing it very slow here, trying to draw out skinny, and he does goes across there, goes back to Mad. Mad now 
Again, trying to draw that defense out. They're, they're, they're trying to make that defense make a mistake, open up a lane, and they do just for a moment. And, and look at that margin of error. They're working with the strip. 39 meters away. I cannot believe what I just saw. The whole sequence. Mad. Threading the needle. Oh, my. Oh, I can't. I'm not even going to try. I can't do it justice. <laughs> uh, impeccable. First jaywalker on the other end. Crazy three-point shot. And then on this end. One from Kang, Shrem. Unbelievable gameplay. Testament to these teams' level as Skinny if rolls out. If a single play gone. was good enough to win a game, that was the play that won it. I'm sorry. Well, ideally, they're just trying to win some more points because we got a long time to burn and not able to convert. And again, oh. Skinny taking the shot. A good save there uh, from Matt Sealable. And there's... That's the thing about King as well. I mean, Sealable Stram, both known as good goalies in previous seasons, of course, uh, just coming in now. Again, and mad, oh the madman with the mad hands, the mad plans. He ejects it into the offside. They're going to go to that side. That's going to go no, dangerously no, close to the goal. No, if that oh went in, goodness. I'm quitting, and it's not. So we're returning to the other side. But holy smokes, the pacing of this game now all of a sudden. Yeah, uh, someone in the chat said uh, Kang has turned it on. Yes, yes they have, but it, uh, I'm going to be honest. It looks like the Joker's turning it on in response. Dash going over there to Jaywalker. Jaywalker feeding that one right back there to Skinny. Look at the discipline there. Uh, they're, they're not trying to force that one in. They're going to pass it all the way back out to that back line. Kong Kong's going to feed it in deep there. Looking for Jaywalker. Does find the mark. But Jaywalker just going to back that one out. You see, because uh, it was the Kang defense collapsed into the bubble, which really closed up a lot of that room they wanted to work with. So they just reset it. That's what they're doing. They're trying to draw that defense out. Shrem is all the way out, but he gets a good boost there. Jay Walker, go for that shot. Oh, but no. another stop Ooh. there by Mad. <laughs> Mad is insane. What? 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 Uh, oh, Shrem with the, the steal there the, right the, at the, the shield. The, the defense is amazing, didn't we? I the stun, the stun, they're gonna have an opportunity. Sealable trying to see what he does. <laughs> With a no look over the shoulder as he's turning, throws it into the corner of the goal there on the defense, and Kangaroos is just taking a four point lead. I don't even, I don't know what that move was, but man, was it effective. Maybe just uh, trying to un unwind, untangle, but what a hit. I mean, again, the huge defense from Mad from Strem, the fast stacks, the grab, the turn around, every trick in the book. You just saw Kangos pull it off there with just amazing uh, precision and accuracy as will be Choker going back for the play. There's a stack. Well, we've got four and a half minutes left, and this has been a crazy, crazy third round. Oh, it absolutely has. Now Jay Walker moving in on this near side, going over that. The Pac-Man block up to the ghost there. He does have Skinny. Oh, he goes across there to Kong. Kong now under pressure. Pulls two defense for now. Puts it to Skinny. And Skinny pops out winning for the two. And it's a 7-5 game here with four minutes to go. Right back at him. Destined to do this forever, as I always say with Joker with King. And I hope it does go on forever. Uh, man. So 7-5 rolling out here. Starting to get into that crunch time. This is a very important match. Of course, uh, we're, we're still guaranteed at least another uh, round, but being a best of five, but still, this is, with, with the pace of this game and with how uh, back and forth it's, it's kind of been now, really the first team, I think, to pull ahead any kind of rhythm, they're going to be able to carry that uh, potentially for that win across the five rounds. Oh, absolutely. Now leverage up to Mad. Mad going up there to Shrem. But Shrem has to back this one out is that where that pass was hit uh, as he was under pressure there from Skinny. But he's going to send it up to Sealable. But a good read there by Dash. Going to stun Sealable out. But it is Shrem coming away with it. Shrem. Oh, oh. I, oh. oh I, I don't know what I just saw. I did not oh. see that. Oh, man. I, oh, I, just, I, I got tricked. <laughs> I got tricked. Oh, I know what I just saw. I saw Shrem with another fake, didn't we? You would think. This is... So with Kangorillas, you would think with any other team, they work it in that close to the goal, that's a guaranteed shot attempt, right? No, that's Kango's game. They take an 80% shot, they turn it into a 100% chance shot by making that extra pass as the stack no. gets right past. And oh my, Strembitsky lighting it up. And he's dancing around, he's celebrating, he's feeling good. You can read it in the body language and they're feeling it right now. Strembitsky dealing it into the goal. And with 228 left, this is turned around into a very strong round for the Kangorillas. 34 meters out, 18 meters a second. Bullseye from the Strem monster. 
as the Joker now on the Joust Advantage, sending this one up. But Stram with the interception there. Look at the empty net. Oh, it's going to bounce off that nest. Oh, that one's going to bounce out. It's going to find the hands of Kong now. Kong now moving on this uh, near side wall. Going to cross this very far over there to Jaywalker on the far side wall. Now moving the, through that far side tube, right side tube. If you're Team Joker, he's going to send this one up. Looking for Dash, but that one's just leading a little bit too far. Dash now under pressure. Just going to slap this one back. It does find the hands of Strem. Strem, I... It, you know, we're saying his name a lot of the last few minutes here. Shrem coming away with that one. Going to send this one in deep. Does he uh -oh. have a chance? That bounce. Wow. That was absolutely big save, actually, from Kong. What in the world? I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I can't understand. As someone who just has never been that great of a goalie, the amount of defense I'm seeing is just its so impressive. And right there, uh, the shot is, as a result of that epic save, it's Still, still possible for a comeback. They're only down uh, by five, but wow, wow. Yeah, this is uh, this is some next level gameplay here. Jay Walker though with that hook shot, putting that one in with the defenders all around him. Good for the two. And now Joker only down by five. Minute eight to go here. But look at Mad. Mad, he's, he's going to force him to come uh, come over there and challenge it. Oh, though, Dash getting the pick up there. Had a momentary look at that empty net. But uh, Mad got back to that goal very, very quickly. And look at the give and go here between Jay Walker and Dash. Jay Walker going for that ambitious shot. But it's going to bounce wide. But still in control of it. It's Joker now handled by Kong. Ha Kong sending it across. Far crossover to Jay Walker. Jay Walker back to Kong. Kong takes a shot. He puts it in for the two. And now it's a three-point game with 45 seconds to go. I love the fact that all these games today, it's finals matches, they have been so close in a lot of these rounds and you expect it at this level, but it's always pleasant when it does come to fruition. Uh, so with 30 seconds left in this very crucial match, this crucial round for either team to just pick up some steam going late into the game. Uh, Loverich trying to maintain control as he passes it off to Strem. Strem's going for that wall shot or pass perhaps. It's going to go to the other side. The uh, time is going to be not too conducive, but there's still a little bit of it. So at the moment, priority has to be on closing off this lane just for a few more seconds. And with no time left, one last heave, but no one there to receive. And 12 to 9. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> and Joker. Gorillas. Joker really wanted to take that long three, but they had, uh, I believe it was Strembitsky, was just hanging out in the in the Kang bubble. Yeah, they were not going to let any long threes go in. They weren't going to let it happen, and uh, they were able to stop Joker. Kang taking round three here over Joker, 12 to 9. Wow. Caption, what have you got for us? That was uh, impressive. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to type out some notes beside me, but I feel like I'm playing a competitive game of type racer right now with all the action that's going on. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, uh, for starters, I mean, half of Kang's points there are, are literally a testament to Strembitsky, who's taking half-court shots and nailing them. I mean, 16 points just for his team alone right now. I mean, Strembitsky's on absolute fire, and, and more than that, the defense coming from both ends of the floor. I mean, I had to switch notes at least... I. I don't know how many times it was it was originally Dash is being ridiculous. Then there was a whole end on on the Kang side where Mad was making the most insane saves. Then Kung came through at the end there with a ridiculous save that ended up in a goal as well. So I, I, this is just a, a testament. This is the finals that we all thought we were going to get. I mean, just both teams playing at their absolute top of their game, especially right now. I mean, a, a little bit earlier, maybe a couple of errors coming in now, but both these teams are now dialed in. And, and it's going to get even more interesting, I think, going into the next couple of rounds. I mean, I think we're in for more of a treat coming into round four. Well, and Kang Gorillas are in a position now. Hold on, where speak if, if they, treats. If they you win, see he's joined yes. us here. No. Reliable Ryan Rhino has just entered the building, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Oh, oh, no. That could be very bad news for Kang Gorilla. Then again, then again, though, rhythm-wise, how does that affect Joker? Because... Yes, Joker got back their core, but again, switching out mid-rounds, there's going to be adjustments needing to be made in a quick manner. So we'll see how that pans out. It's going to pan out for a Strambisky shot. That's what? Three points. He is a man on an absolute mission for see? destruction. You see where that goal, where that disc went in the goal? There was no more room. There was no more room. Strem, you're a monster. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't handle it. Dash going to handle this one, though, for Joker. Currently down by three, but still in nine minutes to go here in this round four. Uh, Kang up by two in the series, or excuse me, up uh, two to one in the series total. But that one going to get crossed over to Ryan. Ryan now moving up. 
reliable ride, as I like to call him. He's going to move in. Send that one over to Jay Walker. Jay Walker under a lot of pressure. They're trying to send the one over. It. Oh, he mishandles it. Going to send it accidentally up towards the ceiling. And I'm mad. Going to get the grab on that one. Send that one up to, uh, who is that? Sealable back. Sealable going to send this one up to the monster. Shrem, uh -oh. Shrem looking at that empty net. Huh? Taking the shot. But that one just going to go wide. The first one. Oh, no. But Sealable back with the turnover. He's going to get the grab and put it in for a two. Sealable bag in the right place, right time. So often that is the case for the Kangarillas. If they take those deep shots, it's usually with the idea that, hey, I still got backup on the way. They look for those stacks so quickly. Uh, the stack from Sealable, especially when it's with leverage, is just incredibly fast, blazingly so. So even when you miss your shots, there's going to be a Kangarilla stack uh, more often than not to try for those rebounds. It does buy them that goal. A Jay Walker, he's walking it up the floor. With Kangos uh, still kind of stuck in the back line, being stunned out rather nicely. In fact, a dash doing the job as the shot gets saved from the man man himself yet again between the defensive man, between the offensive stram, and but now the offense from oh man again being denied. What in the oh, world oh, is happening oh, here? Leverage. Insanity. The stops are unreal, and then that one, oh, the ding! That one's gonna go just wide. This is unreal. The defense of Kang is just stopping everything here from Joker at the moment. 7.30 to go here. Kang currently up by five, dash sending this one across to Ryan. Ryan taking the shot, oh. and he hits it. Look at the placement on that shot. He had no more room to work with right on the bar there, dinging it on the way in. That's good for the three, and it's a two-point game. So, okay, for the folks at home, that is the... First of all, one of the most incredible defensive stands you will see. Back to back to back on the saves coming through. And then the shot, equally as impressive from Ryan. Bold, yes, that's Joker. It was a three-point shot. It was anchored, but the placement was picture perfect to just evade the hands of the defense. And indeed, I don't even know what's real anymore, Dimwi, because th that was some insane plays going on. We have exited reality. This is virtual reality, and this is virtually insane what we're seeing happen. Oh, absolutely. It is insane. Now, Ryan going to send this one in deep. Does have dash down there. Dash down. Trying to make something happen. Going to go ahead and back this one out as they were a little off balance there. But Ryan, now Ryan on the near side wall, going to back this one over there to, uh, who is that? Kong. Kong now moving up. Has Strem right in front of him. So he's going to pass this one up to Dash. Dash trying to find a Jay Walker cutting in. Ultimately does find a Jay Walker. Oh, the read there by Strem. He's going to get the grab on that. Send this one out back into the Joker zone and the races are away. So a lot of Joker players meeting the Kangos. The oh, three. What? Three from Strembitsky. Strembits three all day long. That that was stupid. Strem, you're stupid. I mean that with love and you know it. Oh my <laughs> goodness, what a ridiculous shot. Who takes that shot on a goalie? Who does it? Strem. Strem and Look. he puts it in. Wow. So I would normally say in that situation, uncharacteristic kangorillas. And yet when you have the hot hand. Sometimes you gotta feed it. Uh, if you if you're feeling in that rhythm, Strambisky undoubtedly feeling the rhythm. Jay Walker stopping his rhythm. Whoa, what a play from Joker and from Matt. This is absolutely ridiculous. Jay, first of all, the headiness to break right before he uh, approached that three-point line to keep it in the three-point zone. Then the stun from Joker to deny the goalkeeper's hands. But then Matt almost saving it off his head. That is an absolutely incredible series of plays from both sides. Oh my gosh, that was it. Wow. Somebody get that man the printout of what the head hitbox looks like. He All he had to do was turn a little bit. I, I, I know that I could say that. Of course, I wasn't in the moment. But oh, now an opportunity here for Kang. Sealable oh, Sealable and Shrem going back and forth there to evade that defense. And now I was just going to back this one out, reset it completely to get a different attack on the bubble here. That is, that's how you play the high level there. You can't force them in. They didn't like the look they had, so they just backed it out. And they're going to try again. Keeping out of the hands. Oh, but Ryan! Reliable Ryan get the grab on that one. Going to send it back to the Kang zone. Kang's chain is going to get their first. Maybe they do uh, have the area. And Sealable does get that grab. Going to back that one over to Leverage. Leverage under pressure. Going to send this one up to Mad. Mad now going to forward this one up to Shrem. And Shrem's going to start looking around and make something happen here for Kang. Very nice passing plays as well. Just dodging through all of that uh, heavy, clustered up defense. Sealable back finding himself just open enough there to get another open pass to Leverage. So he's so... Uh, work up the floor here at play for Kang. That is their comfort zone typically, although Joker is definitely aggressive. We're going in for another shot. Fake it's Rambitsky. Ten points up by four. Kang goes. He hates it when I call him this, but I don't care. The predatory pasta himself, Shrembolini oh. Alfredo, bringing that one in off the fake pump. Going to put it in for a two, and Kang's going to take a four-point lead here with four minutes to go as Joker's coming out on the joust advantage. 
less than four. And Joker. Oh boy, Joker. They need to score. And soon. Uh, for that matter, I think needing to just leave someone purely on Strem because anytime he gets a disc now, these shots are just going in over and over. And you gotta deny that. Force someone else on Kangos to take those shots. Yeah, you do. And now Kang uh, gonna get this one set in. The chains are away, and it's gonna be Ryan actually getting that grab first. Uh, I believe it may have been off of a leech there. And now look at that play from Dash. Get the slap of the Jaywalker with the stun. And Jaywalker gonna send this one in from the jump, oh. and he hits it. 35 meters out, 18 meters a second. I don't believe that shot. Wow. And it was following what a great, great reflexive shield on his uh, his head there. Loveridge, I believe, contesting him in the right as Jay received the pass. Somehow just managed to be aware enough to get his fists up to block the, the punch, not to mention grab the disc, turn around and hit it. That once more, every little thing, it's so impressive if you slow that whole play down. That's unbelievable. Yeah, and uh, I just got to give a quick shout out to Wit. Uh, just say hi to Wit after uh, after uh, that play we just saw. As uh, now this one going to be Kong sending this one back to Dash. Dash now sending it back up to Kong. Kong uh, crossing that one over there to uh, who's that? Ryan. Ryan sending it back to Dash. Look at the cycling of this disc here. They're, they're keeping the, the defense on their toes. They're, they're trying to get them out of position, but Stram is just not relenting there. Look at that. Every single player of Kango is already back in the bubble. They can't find a lane here. Joker cannot get uh, <laughs> Joker cannot get Kang. Uh, to make a mistake there on defense. Kang just wasn't letting it happen. And now it's all the way back into the Joker bubble. Joker is going to get there first, at least into the area first. They do get the disc first. But yeah, wow, what great defense there from Kang. <laughs> Not only that, so all the way down the floor as well. It's so, so very fast from the stacks. There it is again. Love Ridge, this turnover. Who's he going to find? Strambitsky, of course, uh, going to seal now. Three man game unfolding, passing. Forward, forward, back, and man, there reliably. He's had such an insane game defensively. Right now, Strembitsky, insane offensively. Sealable bag, but with propensity, intensity, it's Kung getting that through. A partial clear, will ricochet right back into the pocket, dropping it down into the uh, root as it goes oh, for the three. Wow. That would have been a massive shot indeed. Love Ridge, a chance, but no chance at all as Jay now denies with some stuns, some brawls. Wow, that's all I can say. Yeah, Jay Walker whipping out the five head for that deflection there as this one's going to get sent in by Dash. But it's going to be Strem already in the backfield there to get the grab on that. Send it all the way back down into the Joker zone. Now it's looking like Joker's going to get to the area first. So are they going to grab the disc first? Yes, it's going to be Kong Kong immediately under pressure. So he's going to pour that one up. A fortunate bounce there, but not fortunate enough as it gets it squeezes right by Ryan. Now Ryan, oh no, they have a two-on-one here. Ryan and Jay versus uh, Mad. Going to get the pass. Oh, Loveridge gets back in time and gets a steal. What a steal there by Loveridge. Average 56 seconds right go. Back. Still a one point game. Kong now moving in, going up to Ryan. Ryan coming in off the ceiling. Go back to Kong. Oh, oh what a stop there by Mad. And Strem's going to send it away. Unbelievable grab now from Dash. 44 seconds. One cross pass. And at last, it's a one point advantage for Ryan for Dash. The assist. What a, a insane. This is just continuing to prove a day of the best matches you'll ever see in Echo Arena. Happening here again, it seems like week after week lately. This is, this is incredible to watch. Uh, 20 seconds left. Right down to the wire yet again with Mad making that play, but just a little bit of disjointedness maybe. No, actually softly over to Mad now. Going over to Seal maybe is eyeing Loveridge up high and trying to, nothing else, need to find Strem. He's been Ooh, the hot stop. hand. But the big yes, stun coming through, and that's just going to result in the ejection. And uh, indeed, going to a fifth round again in a final situation today. Wow. I mean, wow. That was, uh, that's unreal. Yeah, Joker and uh, Kang tied up 2-2 two to two in this best of five series. Going to round three here, where uh, if Kang loses, they're out. And if Joker loses, we get a bracket reset. Caption, how you feeling, man? I don't know how to feel anymore, to be honest with you. I mean, that game was just ridiculous. I mean, at, at this point right now, any lead you have, you just you can't get comfortable. If you have any points up, just you got to take this game like you're down by five every single time, no matter what the situation is. You have these teams coming back. I mean, that last that last goal, that shot by Jay, which was just phenomenal to put that game within one, I just immediately turned into a, a whole onslaught of plays going in both ends. And, and then that beautiful, beautiful boost that was in that midfield was able to come through and absolutely take away a clear. That clear could have very well ended that game. That clear could have very well just been 
like could have just ended it like rung the bell but they got to it and were able to force that into the bubble a little bit more of a the frantic play but they still ended up with the two and it ends up with a win and that's the way this game has been there's almost no holes in either defense we're seeing that time and time again i mean mad and dash kung jay strem they're all playing out of their minds on the defensive end so all of these goals are pretty much just coming off these frantic plays that are all due to good positioning that just leads you in a good spot I gotta clear something up real quick. Uh, Newton is saying uh, Wit took the end of my name. I gotta be honest, Wit came before Dimwit. Uh, let's just be clear about that right now. <laughs> well, fair enough. Shout out to him as well. Uh, going to the bottom ramp, taken by Mad in this fifth round. So everything coming down to this uh, for Kangos, for Joker. Uh, if Joker wins, they're the champion. So anything can happen. I'm excited to see what that anything is as it goes to the top wedge. There's the stacks, there's brawls, and the clear. Someone's going to get sent back into the Kang zone. Kang is going to get there first, at least to the area first. Not going to get the hands on it first. Matt trying to chase that one down. Ultimately does has uh, some space to work with here. So now he's going to move this one forward. Uh, sending that one up to Leverage there. Leverage going to forward this one up to the tube there to Shrem. Shrem now moving through the tube. Under a little pressure from Ryan as Ryan does a little bit of twirl uh, to, to, to close a little bit more space there. Uh, but now it's going to take a goofy bounce and it's going to be Dash. Dash sending this one away. But Matt covering that back line there. Not going to let that one through. And now Kang moving up here. You can see them moving up in formation. Good pass there, but that one's going to go just a little bit high. And now in the hands of Ryan. Ryan going to turn this one around, clear this one out. At least in the hands of Jay Walker, as it looks like. As Ryan sent that one away, he got a drop there. And now it's in the back in the hands of Kang. Yep, that it is. So they're going to try and press this advantage the best they can. Unfortunate. Uh turn of events always when you have those situations unfold but they're gonna play on as actually ryan immediately does get the rejoin however the goal open it's conceded leverage full advantage first three points of this fifth round yeah that was unfortunate timing there they had the numbers advantage so kang is gonna take advantage of it put it in for the three leverage there hitting the empty goal and that's our first goal of the game it took a minute 21 seconds and Kangarilla is going to take that early lead here. Well, not too early, as we have just over eight minutes to go here. Dash going to handle that one uh, just over that nest there. Kind of try to uh, pull that defense out. Look at this. He's taking his time here. He doesn't want to send it uh, to a covered man or someone that's going to get hit quickly like that. Uh, but Jay Walker going to receive that one, that cross pass from Kong, trying to send it back to Kong. And a good pass it was as it takes that smooth bounce off that far side wall. Kong now under pressure from the sack. But, oh, the read there from Mad. And he's going to get this one set through that right too. Gotta love that awareness from Mad, just knowing exactly how far he, he's allowed to, to uh, press up there without you know, being too risky and conceding a goal. So that was a very smart move up the floor, and it did buy them the possession, at least for a little while. But there goes Joker yet again. It's Ryan uh, joining in midway through that uh, this series and just trying to help will his team to a victory, to a championship, if at all possible. But the overshoot does get it to Dash Dash, slapping it back. Yeah, going back to Jay Walker. Jay Walker with a good uh, cross pass there to Kong. Kong, oh, Kong pulled out the step ladder and he gets it in off Matt's head. And it's good for the two. And G Joker's on the board here in round five. Three to two. And even then, Matt almost almost got something going there on the, the save, it looked like. Uh, but yeah, uh, continues to just impress with that, that ability that just incredible ability that very very few people have at that level there's a lot of talented goalies for sure but just compared to how many great strikers i mean to be that good on defense is a uh, ridiculous and something I, I do respect tremendously oh. so as speaking of there's dash with a grab the defensive hands showing he can do a little bit of that that same kind of stuff that jay gets <laughs> as jay does offer the dish to dash and dash is in for the two it's a four to three favoring joker that was wild there. The give and go between Dash and Jay Walker. That was phenomenal play there as they approached the goal. Two on one. There was a defender just getting back, trying to cover that lane, but he had to make the decision. And that give and go is what makes it so hard to make that decision there. And they're able to get that one in for the two. And Joker's taking a one-point lead here in round five with six minutes to go. And taking the disc right back. In fact, it's Jay Walker, but a deep one to Matt. He's just in the back line. Can get that one pretty easily. Leverage over on the bow tie. Maybe eyeing that pass, waiting it. Uh, Matt just trying to work it up the floor here. Not too concerned uh, for that defense as a shot almost burns but uh, will not be had at first sealable bag a little bit of time does back it out to leverage well aware of the positioning as always with the communication uh, kango's strong suit without a doubt so back to jay walker as he clears it through mid uh it's 
maybe actually has a chance that Kung is going to be there first, and it is a three from eight meters deep. Slaps it in uh, 12 meters a second, seven to three. Yeah, Joker, I, they're, they're not a team you can let start running away with a score like that. It's only two goal game. It's only four points. Uh, but against a team like Joker, that that's a, those four points, those are big. Those are those, those might as well be uh, four-pointers, uh, two different four-pointers, which I know sounds ridiculous. But, uh, that, I mean, that's the caliber of play you're talking about. But we are also talking about Kang, and Kang is a team that can uh, score four-point goals. Uh, you're thinking that's impossible. No, it's Kang. Uh, that's just how they operate. Now, this one's going to bounce into that Joker bubble. Ooh. Shrem's going to get their first, pop it in for the two, and we're down to a two-point game. All right, big shot, keeping it right up there close. Because Joker, the danger with them is you don't want to give them too many scores in a row because you do, they start getting that rhythm. You saw Shrem getting in that zone, that that uh, that that zone, you know, when you get in sports where you just you feel everything going in. Uh, at the moment now, Shrem being denied for a little while. And you don't want to give that same kind of flow to Joker because they're a team, historically, once they're feeling good, they tend to snowball very quickly. And at this juncture, any snowball is going to be devastating. Oh, absolutely not reliable. Ryan sending that one to Kong. And Kong is just going to flick that one in for the two. And we're back to a four-point spread here with just over four to go as Ryan uh, celebrating that goal there. You can see him uh, pumping the hands, raising the roof there. as uh, That was a beautiful play there from Ryan to Kong. That pass, though. That pass was ridiculous, and then the fling from Ryan, wow. Absolutely, so right back at him. There are four minutes left, and that, for Joker, they're looking at that scoreboard. They are wishing beyond a shadow of a doubt. They're wishing that time was a lot lower right now because they can taste that championship coming their way. Uh, finally, uh, perhaps, Kang, they've been there. Joker, they've been close, but just not quite. Uh, at the moment, Strem Bitsky, though, he doesn't care. He wants that second title. He wants his championship. Kang wants the wins. They want the rings. And they have three minutes and 30 seconds to make sure that it happens, or at least that they have a chance at it still. Yeah, but this one, that's not how you're going to do it there. That missed pass is going to be handled by Ryan. Ryan's sending that into the tube, and it's officially back into the Kang zone. Picked up by Kong. Oh, but Ryan's actually going to get the grab there. That was I, I absolutely believe that was an accidental grab as Kong was looking to take that shot, but now uh, uh, Ryan's sending it up and then back up to Kong. So Kong on the back line here. They're going to reset this one, pull that defense out. They send that one up. Uh, uh, that is Ryan on the near side wall here. Moving in. He doesn't like that stack in front, so he's going to back it out a little bit. Look for that cross pass. That's three on one. Look at how uh, Kang is defending Ryan there on that wall. They, they had the chain right in front of him and a defender on him as well. That was basically a three on one, uh, which would have left three Joker players open. But now the disc is loose. Matt trying to get there. He does get the slap, and it's going up the shroud. Oh, no. Or, excuse me, leverage, but not quite. But Matt's going to get the slap again and get it out of the bubble, at least for a moment. Uh, these two teams tangling each other incredibly, so there's Loverage, big, big, big stun uh, coming through. Off to the other side, there is a passing, there's a shot, there's Ooh. Dash, he gets the goal. This is a huge score for Dash, and 11 to 5, what are we at, 224. That is very, very tough off of what otherwise was great defense. Yeah, wow. Uh, Joker's starting to push off with this lead here. They're up by six, just over two to go. Kang has to start scoring. Uh, yeah, so Mad with this one, gonna start moving in on the right side, near side wall here, sending this one through the tube up to Shrem. Shrem gonna forward this one up, does hit sealable back. They have a two on two situation right now. They can keep a two on two if they, oh, that pass just off the mark, Loveridge. But Shrem trying to get the first good stun on Ryan from Shrem. Shrem gonna send this one up to Loveridge. Loveridge has sealable assaulting the goalie, but he's gonna back that one out. And uh, Kang looking for a reset here as though uh, uh, looks like Sealbo is not going to relent on that goalie as that pass. Looking for leverage on the backboard there. But that one's going to bounce out. And now a little bit wild here as Joker trying to recover it, trying to get it out of the zone. They do. And Team Joker, again, that clock now. They're looking at it. And they're looking at the goal. Strambitsky, very important grab. Even bigger one from Kung. One more pass down low. It's going to be taken by Dash. Whoa. Really slow. Off the backboard and ejecting, rejecting. But Ryan eight. Gets the disc back one minute, 20 seconds away from a Joker victory here in five rounds. Ryan Rhino trying to maintain. Two goal difference, minute 10 to go. Ryan just juking. Stay away from Streb. That is unreal. I don't know how Streb doesn't get to him, but Seobel does get the read on that. Sending this one back into the Joker zone. It's going to take those bounces there. They are there first. Who's, is he going to take the shot? No, over to Loverage. Loverage now has Seobel cutting it. Seobel gets it. That's a two. That's a four point game with 55 seconds to go. I don't know what's going to happen next. That was their bread and butter going back to it here late in round five. Is it too late though? That is the question. Uh, four points match. Anything that happens here needs to come really, really quickly uh, defensively for Kangorillas. 
So it's going to be Joker on this Joust Advantage. Dash taking that one. 34 seconds to go. Forza went up to Jaywalker. Jaywalker sending this into the tube. If they don't, if if, if uh, Kang does not force a turnover right now, which they do, Sealable, they have to score immediately. They have to score immediately if they want to stay in this. Sealable sending this one to mid. Ryan oh, coming over. They're going to send it. this one into the bubble. That's it. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, Joker has just won the championship. With one more game ending dunk at that. Team Joker after years, after seasons, all of this time spent together building up to this moment. They are the champions of our first season of VR Master League North America. Congratulations, Team Joker in five. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has just left the building. Indeed. Wow, what? congratulations to Joker, man. They have been looking for this. They have been looking for this championship. I think we can say years. I think we can say years. They have been hunting this down. They've gotten so close how many times. They got knocked out in the semifinal, semifinals in ESL3. They got knocked out in the finals in a two back-to-back to, back to back best of five series against Illuminati in the preseason. And now they beat their rivals the first time they play them in the postseason was yesterday and then they just beat the rivals in the final series in this best of five without resetting the bracket wow joker 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 <laughs> joker you know uh, so i think good time to go back to the the moment i i we kind of knew okay so Back in when I was playing over there in VRL Season 2, I remember Joker, uh, they had a victory on us. It was at a time where, you know, we were, my team Eclipse, undefeated. I, I remember it very distinctly, though, because Joker came through. No one had these expectations whatsoever. Uh, there was some talk about them. Hey, these kids are the future. And sure enough, they have been. But I remember very fondly, uh, even though in the moment it kind of stunk, you know? <laughs> like Joker handed us a loss. It happened in... The very end of a game, it's always tough eating a loss. There was a big interception. I believe it was Jay Walker uh, from the bottom ramp. The disc got past me. He got it. Turned around as the clock was winding down. He nailed it for three. And as he released that shot, looking off as it was sailing in and looking at the physical cheer on uh, on Joker, on Jay Walker, they were jumping up and down. They were cheering. There wasn't anything coming through in open comms. But that was kind of when they started their streak. And that... You know, it was a little bit of a, it softened the blow because it's like, okay, you know what, that that what, that win, that was big for them. And based on what I was seeing at the time, I expected big, big things from them too. And it took a while, it took a few seasons, it took time, it took uh, adding a dash into the mix. It took, you had Skinny in the mix, you have uh, Jokers, you know, cycling through these players a couple times but before, before they found just that exact right mixture of chemistry, of accuracy, of just devastation on offense, on defense. And that's why, despite anything else, I love me some Kang. I absolutely do. But you gotta love stories like that where they don't start at the top. They didn't. They didn't. But they started with some promise and they built upon that to reach the top of the mountain here in season one of VR Master League. So congrats to Joker. Amazing, amazing game. Yeah, absolutely. Congrats to Joker. And also got to point out, though, uh, despite the fact that Kang lost here, Shrembitsky, Shrembolini Alfredo, the predatory pasta with 32 points, eight steals, two saves, three assists, and 90 stuns. And also mad with eight saves in that game. These guys played so hard. Uh, Kang played yeah. at the absolute tip of their ability here i mean we saw some of the most amazing stuff there from strem uh he's absolutely he's certainly one of my favorite players if there's ever a strem jersey i guarantee i'm buying it and mm -hmm. uh yeah that's uh, uh they did absolutely magnificent there the chat i've seen a bunch of people saying uh, mvp to strem there despite the loss uh, i can't disagree as a uh, uh yeah but i mean you look at joker look at all the say everybody contributing the saves there you got five to jaywalker five to kong one to dash one to ryan uh, I mean, that's 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 a difference maker there, especially in that last game. But wow, I mean, both teams really came out to play. Both earned their spots here in the finals. Both played. They earned their. I, I think both of these teams already had the respect of their their peers, at least so to speak. And uh, but now I, it's it's certainly a, a, a set in stone as a yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, J uh, excuse me, Joker coming away with the victory here. Just it's such a big day for these guys. I'm so happy for them. 
Uh, I wish I could be there uh, to share in the excitement, like in person. Uh, but you know, uh, not able to do that in uh, in these times. But uh, yeah, wow, absolutely big. And of course, uh, before we lose anybody else, uh, just to show out, is this the last time I'm going to be able to do it? If you are be, enjoying, yes, it is. It's going to be if, burned into my head for the rest of my life. Yes, it will be. If you are enjoying what you're seeing and you're watching this in venues on the Quest, go ahead, pull up the store in the venue right there, right now. Search up Echo VR. It's currently in the beta on the Quest, but it, once it releases, it'll be free, so you're not going to get it to yank from you. You have it forever if you download it once. And uh, yeah, go check it out because if you like what you see, boy, oh boy, and I know I keep saying it, boy, oh boy, are you going to love what you get when you step in it's it's an unreal experience you're not going to believe it till you see it absolutely i i don't know how it's even possible for anyone who's tuned in throughout the day whether on facebook live on twitch on oculus venues wherever you are whether this is on uh, youtube later and post and you're watching the vod i don't know how you watch any of these matches today i don't know how you watch these epic finals we've seen from both uh, europe and from north america whether it was uh, Washed Up versus Team Gravity in that nine-round epic, whether it was this five-round uh, Dazzler from Joker and Kangorillas. I don't know how you can watch that and not and not see exactly why we are where we are with the game and why it's so good, why it's so satisfying, why the skill ceiling is infinitely high and still yet to be reached. But, yeah, uh, amazing effort from all involved. Everyone carried their weight some big performances all around uh and caption sorry to leave you stalled there i just got too caught up but uh what what are your thoughts uh, to close this out this has just been it's fun oh i mean absolutely and i mean it's a great game to both teams i mean there's not i don't think we could have expected anything anything more i mean if anything this this game was just unreal and it was fantastic effort by both teams and even earlier on the day fantastic effort by every team that's been involved in this tournament throughout fantastic effort by every team that's been involved throughout the season in fact so i mean just the culminating effort for all that to to come across as such probably the i i had a note that this is literally the probably the best tournament we've ever seen just how far this game has come within skill of all these players just the best tournament that we've ever been treated to and it's just it, it, great games and congratulations to joker i mean a long long time coming like you said i mean it, it just a, a years almost at this point of just trying to get to this point and uh, just coming in at this manner is just fantastic for them yeah uh, absolutely it's that's that's one way to end what was a stellar a stellar three months 12 weeks of regular season we had a few weeks uh, those round robins challenger cup qualifiers and then of course these finals it's been exciting times. It's been crazy times. We we didn't always know exactly what to expect, in a sense, because things lately have been happening mighty fast. Uh, the growth of the league, the growth of the game, the growth of the community has been something to behold, for sure. And all of the work from the, the crew, the uh, casting crew, the moderating team, the production, every everything involved in this whole community effort, the cameraman. I mean, it, it makes it all worth it when you get matches like this, when you, you get to display, put on full display, these teams who've been working hard for an entire season for years. Once again, this is not a new thing for uh, these players, especially at the top level. They've been doing this for a long time. Joker's been doing this for a long time, chasing that that first uh, championship win. So it, it's just, it's not by mistake and it makes it all worth it when you get games like that for sure. So, um, yeah. Very, very thankful. Very, very fun times. And, uh, yeah, uh, didn't we, any, anything left to say before we kind of do our, our, our close here? I'm a, a little bit, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. <laughs> you know I me, mean? I'm already starting to jump through channels. And, uh, man, the things people are saying uh, over on the Discord is just, uh, yeah, it's it's all GGs. Everybody's happy. We're getting a lot of shout outs as, uh, as casters. Uh, Joker's getting a lot of shout outs for the win. Uh, definitely earning it here today. And, yeah, I just, I couldn't be any happier with the end of the season here. A uh, little little uh, bittersweet as, as it is the end of the season. Uh, but now uh, now we get to look forward to season, start planning for season two. And, man, uh, if this is how good season one was, Oh, 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 I can't even think about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, looking at it right now, I know we the other day we just crossed. Uh, keeping in mind that not uh, all of them are fully rostered at the point, but uh, 40 teams in Season 1, active teams playing. And then after postseason, or regular season ended uh, at the beginning of May or end of April there, 
since the quest beta for echo arena came out uh, we're at over a hundred registered teams on the website now uh even if only a fraction of those join, I mean, we're still pro looking at maybe doubling up next season, and that's going to be a, a absolute mountain of a task. But uh, you know what? I'm down for it. And I think I speak on behalf of all of our admins, all of our uh, mods, and our crew. Uh, we're we're down for it. This is what we wanted. This is what we, what we expected from the game. So uh, looking forward to that playing out really soon as we work our way into season two. But with that said, just one more thank you. Huge, huge thanks to everyone who watched on Twitch, on Facebook Live, on in Oculus venues. Thanks to our sponsors, Pro2 VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and Rebuff Reality uh, for uh, contributing to the prize pool here and enabling these uh, teams, you know, some more of that glory. Uh, just, uh, again, ready at dawn, offering the, I mean, aside of the fact that they made the game, okay, offering the exclusive badges for participants in VRML and for the winners of these cups here uh, of these finals team gravity and uh, team joker the two team teams coming on coming out on top so so many people to thank of course our casting crew our camera crew wit camming for us uh, today subtlety as well uh, yesterday and over the weeks uh, sputnik cobra and swift are casting a lot of these games and caption for the analytics there sir dim we next to me uh, such a such a, a big list of people to thank, including the Twitch chat. So I'm not going to go on and on as much as I do tend to do so. So uh, apologies for that. But I will just at least, at the very least, you know, I mean, thank Andy. We got B-Love as well, recording as well as White Dragon. He was recording some extra footage here. And Captain Canada, again, captioned Daniel McFabulous, uh, Dash, and, and Kung Mini Hat, uh, Rosie, Shepard, Skinny229 from uh, Joker as well. Uh, Strambitsky, uh, uh, Swift again, you know, uh, just uh, so many people contributing on the production end of things. And as I said, as I mentioned, it's all community ran here. This is all put together by us on a volunteer basis from, from the production to the camera work to the assets. Everything you've seen on stream today has all been community. It's all been volunteer and uh, we're here to stay, I do feel like. But uh, until next time, until season two, giving some shout outs there. Oof, Scar, there's your shout out. It's been fun. I was about to hit that. <laughs> <laughs> it's been it's been fun. Uh, so everyone, for one final time at least, next time, I've been Palador. This has been VR Master League. That's been Sir Dimwi Caption Wit mm -hmm. next to me. And be happy. Be healthy. Be safe. Be good to each other. And we'll see you again very, very soon. Love y'all. Have a good day, good night, and we'll see you for season two.